Alright, well, uh, I'll get started then. So, uh, good evening everyone, and welcome to something a little different, um, in terms of Iron Man sort of kind of stuff. So, say hello to Ultimate Doom, because Twitch's game category sure fucking hasn't. Seems to have disappeared, and been instead it's now Doom Classic Complete was the closest equivalent I could find, honestly. I mean, I don't want to call it Doom as in 2016 Doom, because that would be inaccurate. And Doom 2 isn't right, so Doom Classic Complete will have to be the new game tag for Ultimate Doom stuff in the future. Thanks, Twitch. Uh, nice to know that Ultimate Doom is no longer popular enough to, to warrant having a its own game search. At least Doom 2 still is. But anyway, um, yeah, I was going to do some Iron Man stuff uh, tonight, but um, unfortunately, the Iron Man League isn't out yet. I have messaged Nasa about this, and hopefully there will be a response. Hello, Dubs, how are you doing? Yes, yeah, still no Iron Man week posted. Um, I was told it was going to be posted already. You know, Pegweg updated and said that it was due, and the Iron Eagle's out, but not the Iron Man week. So, I was tempted to uh, wait <clears throat> and do a mapping stream tonight, but I wanted to, I wanted to try this out instead. Because I think this is a brand new thing, and you kind of see how it goes. So, uh, this is seemingly a third kind of sort of... It's not quite the same as Iron Man, in some aspects it would seem. But it is a new sort of thing that was announced last month, and it's starting this month. So, this is the Doom World Master Endurance Tournament. Starting off with the first... Well... Technically, starting off with Ultimate Doom, I guess. But for what I'll be doing, it's going to be just the first three episodes. Hello, World Misfit. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good evening as well. Thank you for the 25 and the host. So, this is the first ever iteration of the Doom World Master Endurance Tournament. The Doom competition, where your will to live and desire for victory shall be tested to the limit. Plus how, fa of a fast, plus how of a fast doomer you are. Here we challenge ourselves to the maximum test of persistence by playing all kinds of episodic wads to full-fledged megawads. A new one each month alongside a lovely challenge wad surprise for those that want even more. Hey Mark and Anarchy, how's it going? No, this is not replacing Iron Man and Iron Eagle. It's just that the Iron Man isn't out yet. If the Iron Man had been out, I would actually have considered playing all three tonight in theory, but since Iron Man is not out, I will be saving that for another time, and we will check this endurance tournament out instead. This brand new endurance tournament thing. So obviously they're going to go into Doom, um, yeah, 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 so the basic gist is, the essence here is endurance. A what is selected, hey Scotty, how's it going? The what, the a what is selected among the great ocean of content. The competitors then have to play the entirety or as long as they can to accumulate points. For this, I'll calculate A, how long it took the competitor to finish the ward, the faster the better. B, the skill level chosen. C, the category that the player is submitting. And D, total progress. There are three categories just like other leagues, first run, experienced run, prepared run. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, I'm pretty much just gonna put uh, Category 3 run for this straight away, prepared run, because I've played Ultimate Doom enough times, I'm, I think I'll be okay. I mean, hell, I revisited the entirety of it for its 25th birthday uh, not too long ago. Yes, ah yes, yeah, this thing, because the community needed yet another Iron Man type competition. Well, this one is a little different, it would seem. Although I would agree I was a bit, I, I did raise my eyebrows, so why is there another one? But this one is different. 
This one gets tweets for one thing. <laughs> um, so this will be a prepared run, obviously, because I've played a lot of Ultimate Doom over the years. If the selected world has, for example, 15 maps, you can and should finish all those 15 maps. But you can also decide to leave your run at, let's say, 11 maps and still be valid for submission in the competition. So finishing the entire world is not needed, but recommended. The player with the most endurance is the one likely to win. In the end, whoever finishes fastest with the highest skill level and with the most finished maps will accumulate the most points and win. Yeah, so it just merge with the most fun in the original format with another million rules. Uh, honestly, I, 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 I wouldn't disagree with that. The thing is, though, well, the Iron Man and the Iron Eagle could just merge together because the Iron Eagle, the difference between the Iron Man and the Iron Eagle used to be that Iron Eagle was PR boom demos only, but now that doesn't happen. Well, you can still release PR boom demos, but now it's not the only requirement. So they could honestly merge if they wanted to, but I don't mind there being two separate ones, to be honest, either. I just want them to be actually on time every month. <clears throat> I find that to be the problem with the uh, Iron Man thing. Honestly, ever since Alfonso stopped doing it, it feels like, although it's in steady hands, it is in the hands of, uh, you know, it's not being posted on the first of the month. It's been like several days. There's no more humorous obituaries. Yeah, I think also why she choose a difficulty as well, fair enough. But A convex, A the wellness. But it, it just feels like, you know, what what is I I I I I, I definitely remember that when in the Iron Man League in the past, and I like the Iron Man League, it was never like delayed in coming out straight away at the beginning of the month. So you could sort of point out a bit. Whereas, you know, In the last few months, it feels like it's been taking a few days, you know, and I, I'd i like to know what it is so I can plan my streams around it. I'm sure others will do the same. No dynamic lights won't come. Ku is not dead. <laughs> but anyway, that's just a sort of minor gripe, I suppose, but... Dun 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 intensifies. Hey, white guy. Yeah. So anyway, getting back to this. Um, among the normal ward competition, there's also a special challenge ward, or can be a special bonus map map for the same ward that will follow the exact basic rules of ultraviolence, UB plus and nightmare only. No saves, no deaths, continuous. This is a bonus and optional challenge that will score up to 5,000 points to the winner. Losers don't get the points. This is a high risk, high reward kind of challenge. This is so some players that still crave for marking an even higher challenge, while at the same time being a second chance to score more points. Whereas this challenge will also get a special mention in our winner's article in the Doom Master Waterzine. Oh my god, what, what? This is. Okay. So, the basic gist of this is that there is a standard competition, and then there is a challenge competition, and the idea is to rack up points. Now, this is what makes it different from both the other Iron Mans, because... You are allowed to die. Apparently. So, the standard competition for Doom is... It's vanilla compatible, AD Bob. It's comp level 3 for PR Boom and Doom Strip for Zadoom Source Port, so there's no Source Port limitation for this one. We endure E1, M1 to E3, M8. Secret... Oh. Secret levels are not required. Why? Why would secret levels be not required for this? I mean, I know the secret levels aren't the greatest in Ultimate Doom, but... Well, actually, what am I saying? One of the best levels in Ultimate Doom is Warren's. Why are the secret levels omitted? That just seems a bit weird. All right, is this just for Doom, or is this going to be a consistent thing? Well, just put the guide where they are. I think secret level should absolutely be part of it. You know, why would you not allow them? Why would they be omitted? Like, 
you know, it's more levels, it's more um, chance to score points, right? I can understand if it's like a really, I can understand if the secret levels in like a, a custom megawatt are like ridiculously difficult and you admit them for a challenge, but why just in standard do? <clears throat> well, I know it's E1M3, I, I had to look it up actually, because I kind of mixed up E2 and E3, but it's E2M5, E3M6, E4M2. You wrote a Doom creepypasta and made a wad based around it? You didn't make that one with the weird caco demon picture, did you? Because that's the only creepy pasta doing what I ever am. The one with the screaming and the weird caco picture. Oh, okay, I don't know what it was then. So, no secret level. So I guess I don't have to worry about noting them down myself. Uh, estimated runner's first time to finish two to three hours. And we're using Doom. Oh my god, there's so many rules for this. Okay. One, any skill level is valid. Also, hey everyone, I'm just reading off this. We will get around to playing it, but there's a lot of things to cover since this is the inaugural version, I guess. So the rules are, one, any skill level is valid, which includes Nightmare, in case a mad doomer is crazy enough to try it. You can also use UV fast, all under your own responsibility. So you can pick any difficulty. I guess you get more points for higher difficulties, okay. Two, this should go without saying, but no cheats or checking the map in the editor. No cheats or checking the map in the editor. Checking the map in the... So you're allowed to do prepared runs, but you're not allowed to look at the map in the editor? Okay. Uh, number three, no gameplay mods allowed. Okay, fair enough. Number four, visual mods are allowed. Full screen HUD, smooth doom, vanilla essence, etc. Okay. Visual mods are allowed. No gameplay mods, fair enough. Five, you can die as much as you like, lol. And this is the big difference here, I think. You're allowed to die as much as you want. You know, in an Iron Man or an Iron Eagle, you die, that's the end of the run. In this, if you die, you just keep going. But I guess, you know, um, you, you, I guess it would count against you against other players who didn't die or something. Is down numbers allowed? You'd have to ask. It's a good question, Lord Misfit. Maybe you should message the uh, Fred owner or whatever. Uh, number six, no pistol starting, only continuous. Okay. Number seven, you can save up to three total times per map. Especially difficult wards may have more saves. Where and when is up to you. So you can die and you can save your game in the middle of the map, but only three times per map. You must follow the competition indications, which will be published depending on the WAD compatibility, requirements, source ports, etc. Hey Derek, how's it going? Nine, free work allowed, no jumping or crouching. Hey Kong, how's it going? Number 10, secret slash bonus levels should be omitted. They do not count towards score and will only drag your time. Sometimes a secret level might be part... Okay, so sometimes a secret level might be part of the challenge. Fair enough. But why would they be omitted for Doom? You know, vanilla Doom. I don't see the harm in having players go to... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Derek mentally preparing for an uphook D2O. Are you seriously going to attempt that, Derek? <laughs> Are you seriously going to attempt it? Wait, you're actually going... No, you're not going to attempt it. I was going to say, dude. I mean, the only person I've ever seen that has willingly played... I mean, okay, one of two people who has willingly played that word has been... Database error who is suffering immensely for trying it and fucking Bordite Crypto. And we all know what happened with Bordite Crypto. Or Player K as he is now called. But lest I get another ranting paragraph of jealousy, let us continue. 
it isn't a challenge. It 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 does kind of feel like that, doesn't it? Why? Like, it's just playing through the ward. I mean, you can save up to three times, fair enough. You can die as much as you want. You humor me greatly, John. I still have the Rock King recordings of him doing the first two paragraphs. It was great. It reminds me that I really need to get Rock King to do a voice line for my notification someday if I can ever get him to agree to it. Anyway, um... I don't know why you won't. Why would you exclude the secret levels from Doom, though? Why I can understand again. I don't get that. It they do not count towards score, and they only drag your time. All right, okay. They only drag your time. Secret levels are pointless. <laughs> what the fuck is this, Derek? What? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I agree with Scoy as well. Wonder women out of depth on top of the save with increased tension. Hey, Alp, how's it going? Hey, MTX. What does it look like? It sounds like a woo. Bordite a woo to. <laughs> Get out, Derek. Go back to Sunwurst. <laughs> uh, I mean. I understand. I mean, in the case of this inaugural one, it's because they, they do mention that the secret level is part of a challenge. Okay, fine. If the secret levels are difficult, why would it be? Um. Uh, whatever. Anyway, um, that just seems a bit of a weird rule to me. You know, unless the secret levels are part of a challenge, why should they be omitted necessarily? All right, number eleven. Any source port is allowed as long as it runs the ward. Number 12, no dynamic lights. Sorry. While they look cool, they also reveal hidden slash secret items. I'm not allowed to use dynamic lights, apparently. Well, they're disabled dynamic lights, then. I don't, I don't know if I have them enabled, actually. Dynamic lights, let's see. Well, sorry, Dynamic Lights, but you must be switched off for this uh, playthrough. There we go. <clears throat> Secret exits and levels are often annoying. I have to agree with that rule. Well, <sighs> yes, but if you real, but the thing is, Hus. If I've been looking for secret levels in the past, I do my research to actually try, if I care about it enough anyway, I do my research to find out how to get to them. You know, and it's an option. But okay, I, I just find that a bit weird for me, at least for Doom of all things. You know, like if this is a custom ward where the secret levels are like ridiculous bullshit, fine. But for Ultimate Doom? Well, it, no harm if they don't, Lord Misfit. I mean, to be honest with you, dynamic lights are only really needed for GZ Doom UDMS stuff anyway. I'm sure I'll be able to turn them back on when I get down to one of those whenever. Okay, and that's the rule. So basically, you can use any difficulty. Um, you can die as often as you want. Three saves per map. No dynamic lights. You can use free if you want. Yeah, basically, it's a speedrun competition, but it's called the Endurance Tournament. You can play, a, which is kind of, to be honest, what the Iron Man's are in essence. You know, if you're good at the map set, so Doom in general, they are mainly a speedrun competition anyway. This is another one that came out this month. I'll just link it again, because it is a new thing that starts in December. And then there's a challenge competition, which is like an extra thing you can do to gain more points. In the case of the challenge competition, you only play on ultra violence, UV fast, or nightmare only. You're only allowed to win. You die and you lose, or you restart and never try all over and endure until winning. Only send your victory submission. No cheating, no gameplay mods, visual mods allowed, no pistol throwing, no saves, no loading. So, the challenge competition 
is basically the Iron Man week, except you can play on two different difficulty options. You know, the Iron Man week is ultra violence or bust, unless it's the wrong credit rule. And the challenge competition is basically Iron Man week rules with no dynamic lights. And you only allow, oh, and I guess you only get points if you beat it. You're not allowed to, like, tally off a score like you died on the map too or something. And this is for the fourth episode of Doom, so the hardest episode, you gotta beat it in one sitting. All this stuff is just a watered down version of the original Iron Man comps, so let's be real. So, you can submit with YouTube VODs or demos, you can uh, show your compatibility in lightning options. Lightning options first. Oh boy, lightning options. <laughs> you could start the sh you could start the uh, the Iron Slaughter competition where you play a really hard uh, slaughter map set and you have to use P Chocolate Doom or something. <laughs> you know, this could start getting into the territory of a fucking pigeon and eagle speed mapping sessions, you know. Useful for a time, but when you have so many of them, it's like everyone wants to make their own, you know. The Iron Man League, the Iron Eagle, the Endurance Tournament, the Iron Slaughter, the John Sweet Pea Fuck You Award. <laughs> uh, indicate your competition category, to indicate your total time. Indicate your skill level, indicate your award progress, indicate the source port you're using. Oh, Jesus. This is so much to fucking keep in mind. And all for this what what is he? Hey, Lord Mr. When do we get mod specific Iron Man Endurance stuff? Make your own! You can make the Aetherius, the Iron Aetherius. <laughs> that could be the next one. And then there's a Discord community to tournament in the water zine or whatever, and uh God. What is with all these fucking rules? Why do we why I'm gonna have to ask, you know, it's a nice idea, but we have two Iron Mans already. This is just wow. What an what an odd little thing this is, I have to say. All right. Well, that them's the rules. Uh, can you can you remember all the rules? <laughs> Anyone want to try and remember all those rules? Because I'd agree. I just kind of like the simplicity of the other two, which is just play with the category. <laughs> and doing this third minute talk. I'm sorry. I I just had to go through all of it because I'm trying to get. I didn't realize it was this much. I, I knew there was a fair amount of text, but I thought what it was like. Okay, so that's the rule set, basically. So, um, right, let's actually start playing this thing, shall we? So, we will show up the compatibility. It's Doom Strict. There you go, it is Doom Strict. Let's show the lighting. They're off. Let's show the mouse options. Disabling mouse lock, so we don't need it. No, I haven't heard of it either. What the heck is the water zine? I knew there was the, um, that big old school FPS thing called the E1M1 or whatever it is called that I think Bridge tweeted about a few dozen times. I, I don't know if this is related to that or if that is the name of it or whatever. But I, I don't know what the water zine is otherwise. Some people hang about wads every month and putting it into a PDF. So it's similar to that thing that somebody used to do. Yeah, I was gonna say the new stuff. Wasn't Capellan going through some old stuff as well? Well, okay, so that sounds pretty good then. So it's a magazine about Doom Wads and stuff. That's, that's cool. Do they cover like all kinds of Doom Wads and things? Like, do they go through all the different ranges, vanilla stuff, boom stuff, uh, UDMF stuff, community projects, solo projects, established names, new names, stuff like that? I quite like the idea of a Water Zine, honestly. Bridge the Famous Among... Oh god, I need to... I, I, I actually have a... I still need to play Among Us with Bridge and the crew at some point. Hello, AC Gaming. What is a Doom World Master Endurance Tournament? It's basically another Iron Man contest, but 
outside of the challenge mode, you can save three times per map, and you can die as much as you please. And choose your difficulty, and it's all about getting points. Play on a higher difficulty as fast as you can, and then you can play a challenge mode for extra points, but only if you win. So... Ugh. Well... I, it, it's a bit overwhelming, but I will give this a chance. I mean, I will say that I, I'm more, you know, I, I wish the Iron Man week was already out now, but I hope that does get done soon. Yeah, that's my kind of endurance. Well, I mean, it will count against you if you, like, die a few more times and the player who does it faster, I suppose. I'll be interested to see how this point system is going to work to divide the players. Right, anyway, I guess we should start playing this thing then, right? So, it's the first three episodes of Doom, and we'll be playing on Ultra Violence. I'm not going to save. I'm not going to save for any of the maps. If I die, I'll just go back to the level or whatever. Do whatever, man. Yay, good work. Can I make it through? Can I beat this thing or whatever? Yeah, I I am disappointed that how infrequent the uh, how the upworld rate has just disappeared off a cliff for that. I'm, I'm a bit sad, really. I mean, I mean, if Nas is busy, I'm not disrespecting Nas or anything with that. It's just that it used to be on time, you know. What am I doing? Sorry, I'm, I'm being an idiot. I'm neglecting a very important, two very important secrets for early on in episode one. I don't know, this one guy's been trying to push his own version of The CAC Awards and stuff before trying to take over the Iron Man. Own version of the CAC Awards? What? <clears throat> this one seems familiar. Yeah, have you heard of it? It's, it's Ultimate Doom. You know, it's that thing that... I'm not going to bother with that earlier. Because I, I've got everything I need for this map. Almost. For me, one, I'm sorted. The only thing I could grab is more ammo, but eh, whatever. We're good. Bye. Especially since I can just skip the. Uh, I just said I'm just skip the secret levels. Oh boy, back to free shutting specters would be in.
We don't. I don't actually know, Scotty. I. The last I heard when I asked about it on Bridges' uh, Discord was that Pegleg said that the Iron Eagle was coming out. The Iron Man was also going to come out. And that it was being worked on, there'd be some developments. I don't think the Iron Man has been dropped or anything. So I don't think it's disappeared. It's just um, not out yet. But this has been consistent with the last couple of months. You know, the, the Iron Man just keeps not being posted on time. And the wine. Oh, we never on time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the while. Oh, it's never on time. Yeah. That's pretty much been it. You know, I can understand, you know, it's not like... Thank you, Depot. Trying my best. Uh. Well, I'll have to talk about Doom 1. Doom 1 is self-explanatory. It's the greatest thing ever. What more needs to be said? Iron Man was fun in 2017. And it went the wrong way. Whoops. Try again. Shot Spectre. Jesus. Four shot bloody Spectre. Bonkers. I'd say. Bonkers. We'll leave those pinkies for now. Ooh, let's get this secret. Ah, there we go. A rocket launcher. Good time to get that little secret wrapped up. one of the nastier traps of E1, unless you find this secret, in which case it's kind of easy to deal with. Yeah, whatever. Don't want a mega armor anyway. 
I'm just kind of... I found so good taste in wards, was known in the community as a wire band, was for my 2017 web piece, Nation Mix Repairs. Now as posting Dragon Fire's Discord, but he went down popular, it seems Iron Man is now that he's running it. You're better than me at this game. Remember, it's worse than it's definitely a faction type of a So, I really hope that's not the case, Scotty. I like Iron Man Week. I will agree, however, that one thing I have noticed is, I suppose, in a sense, although this is obviously just from personal sort of experience, is how the Brit Bowl used to be a thing. Do you remember when the Brit Bowl was a thing? Do you remember when there was a competition between me and A.N. Mutt, and it was like an exciting thing every month? Like, especially in, what was it, 2017, I think, like you said? When, like, I was forced to run Doom the way it did on speedrun mode to tie up the thing 6 all at the end of the year. And then next month after that, Sorry, next year after that, there was a freeway thing with Dragonfly, Mutt, and myself, which Mutt won pretty comfortably. And then the year after that, there were six of us, including yourself, in the other Brit Bowl type thing, which kind of just disappeared and fizzled out a bit. And then this year, I'm just doing it because it's fun to do Iron Man stuff. I sort of noticed that, like it felt like the spark around that, because I remember it was a big deal, you know? It was like, we, because me and Muck were sort of on a relatively similar skill level, it was a close contest. I always used to tune in to the other person's stream and go, oh boy, how are they going to do this month? It was pretty cool. And then the magic just kind of fizzled out a bit, so maybe you're right, to some extent. Perhaps the magic of the Iron Man just stopped after a while. Shame, really. I like the format. It's interesting. But you know what also doesn't help an Iron Man stay popular? Having the fucking... Not having the goddamn thread up at the first of a month. They were? They've been a, they've been a top team since Fergie left. on M6 already. Well, time to skip a good chunk of the map. In a moment. This ambush is pretty cool, too. I likes this one. How do you disable this again? These have to wait, don't you? Yeah, that's it. It's a time, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was always an optional thing, you know. I just love doing them. Because it was a way to play new wards and for Sweet Pea, the save scum, I guess it was kind of cool to see how I would do in um, map sets where well, I was forced to play in a single save, you know, but I think that's just what it might be. The magic is gone, you know? Ah, get out of the way. Fucking enemy. Oh, nothing there. Hey, well, Tracer, it's this tournament. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, 
god, how I miss the SSG when the spectres every fucking were. For like days on end. Ugh. Ah! Ugh. Come on, invisibility, you gotta be paying off for me. Where's this horse shit? Jeez. This is actually, I actually have to play a little more carefully for a moment. Oh god, not this trap. Oh, okay, this is a stun stopper. Ugh. This fucking trap coming up. Oh god. Oh boy, it's the toughest trap of E1. Can you please just start dying in two shots? For the love of fucking God. Ugh. Fucking pinkies. Four shotgun, thanks, thanks block map. Really appreciate that. Okay, we're good. <coughs> it's all right. Well, we okay. Well, we okay. This is where the chain gun is an absolute beast. around for chain gun ammo actually and maybe the old rocket or two. I have a spectre but this stuck for some reason. Yeah shame it's not the valiant chain gun you're right. In fact wasn't Ultimate Doom an Iron Man once? I seem to remember playing Ultimate Doom for an Iron Man. At some one point, I, def I know I put it for its 25th, but I think that might, I think that might have been one of the same actually. Was it not played on the 25th anniversary as an Iron Man? I am very convinced that's what happened. Wow, oh, yeah, every hit scan. Christ. Hello. Hello, Dave. Yes, all hail the mustard jumper. That's right. Hail it, you fucking peasant. But what's this about a cackle ward replacement? I haven't heard about that before. Who's trying to replace the cackle ward with their own sort of thing? Now ah, you got me curious. Hey Ryan XP. One, two, three. Lovely. Don't you just love it when. This is the uh, endurance tournament. It's another kind of Iron Man thing. Only you're allowed to save several times per map. And you can continue when you die. Die, please. Thank you. Do I take the armor? Yes. I think we do. All that stuff. Was 
wasn't it? Oh, for fuck's sake, don't tell me I've... No, I haven't, sorry. Very temporary forgetting where to go, but it doesn't last very long. Give me that key. Now we can go back this way. Through here. Almost there. Where do more swore to get through? Oh yeah, so you gotta go down this corridor. Then open this up for whatever reason. Of a visual clue there that, that opens that door, but upset for the fact that the door opens or whatever. Are we all gonna die? Of course not. Why would they all wanna die? Ugh, ugh. It's Doom One. There are no Archies. I came up here to get the chain gun ammo, to be honest, which we're going to need for the. Uh, Next bit. As Mount Payne, the Dean of Doom said, the scariest part of this fight is the spectres. So this is where the chain gun will help. It's a great channel, by the way. I'm sort of going through the Dean of Doom stuff. And thank you for the gifted soap to Serious Caco Demon, or Misfit. Ugh, ugh, e, ooh, ah, e, get in! Da 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 da, you win. I don't, I don't, I, oh, I didn't put the time. I don't care. Figure it out. <laughs> I beat it. I didn't actually put the... I, I forgot to do the timer thing. Anyway, that's episode one. It's a great episode. Sweet, why you be risky? Now, I did it deliberately to sort of reduce the time it takes to actually die. Oh, I know about Endless regarding Kaka Ward. It's just a thread full of reviews like not Jabba's, not the Kaka Ward's thread. Okay. I didn't, I didn't actually put a time. Well, whatever. That was episode one. And now episode two. I'm not going to win anyway because the winner of this kind of contest is Zero Master, if he ever enters it. So I'm just going to play for fun. Hell, it's just an excuse to play Doom 1 again. Not wrong with that. Hello, Becca, right? Cat Dog is the most disturbing popular cartoon. Change my mind. What about Venom Stimpy? Ok, 
Okay. Turbo flag! Oh, wow. See ya. Yeah, boy! Plasma gun! Hi, Kako. See ya. Have fun. I saw him being. I saw. I used to watch Cat Dog. It was a little creepy, wasn't it? I guess. That was like years ago. Oh yeah, this part. Oh boy, a million's pinkies. Ooh, pretty. A slog fest of pinkies. Oh no! Go away! No! Get back in your cage. You're not ambushing me on the other side. That would be bad. Get out of here. Wow. Who designed this map, by the way? Of the original crew? Thank you. Sandy Peterson. Okay. Hi, Kako. You know what? You, you teleport through and kill me otherwise. And I'll save the plasma for... Well... Panic situations and one specific boss later on. Yeah. Ah, E2M2. Wonderful map. Wonderful map and the inspiration for my current map. This is the kind of map I, 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 I swear it's the kind of map I did want to make. Um, I know, I need, I need, I'm, I'm trying to sort of go to something of a pace, but I need some, I, I need ammo, is what I need. I need ammo and the what, let's get out of the fucking way. Jesus Christ. You know what I should have done? This. Take the plow. Take the berserk. Oh, I have to go down the. Oh, for fuck's sake! I have to go down the other side, don't I? Go away, would you? Oh, for fuck's sake! Ugh. Can I get that shot? There we go. That's what I'm after. I just wanted that, to be honest. The ammo cache. Hmm. Um. Mm. Do I get the rocket launcher as well? Or the extra chain gun or whatever. I'm trying to remember. Because John loves crates! No, this is really a good map though. It genuinely is. Like it's got like, lots of variety. It's kind of a cool theme of being in a giant warehouse. All kinds of nifty little parts to it. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a good map. Yeah, I guess I should try and get the this one. How is this? I'm just, I'm just trying to jog my memories to that. Okay, you know what, I'm an idiot. I need to progress with the actual level a bit. Before we can go back for the yellow key. Yeah, like you go from this to marble thing, then suddenly you're in this section. And then... Oh, hell, the box! The box! What's in the box? There we go. 
Bucket launcher. Very handy tool. Of course, backpack. All right. Not too... You know, I should get the chain gun as well, actually, while I'm at it. Let's go grab the chain gun. <clears throat> I mean, I suppose if that's the case and the Iron Man stuff has lost all its charm, how would people feel about what if the Iron Man and the Iron Eagle merged into one competition again? I mean, sorry, not again, I mean, just merge into one competition, period. I'm going to take that as a speed breathe or whatever you want to call it. Have fun! Oh, wow, wrecked. Donut special usages. Thank you for the three month subscription, Assy Gaming, a distraction. Oh, oh, oh. Yoink. That's it, time to go. Excuse me, coming through. Map's almost over, but unfortunately my ammo pool isn't the healthiest of the shotgun anyway. Hmm. Oh no, more distractions! Stop it! division music finally and thank you for the five months tourniquet and another gifted sub through database error and hello database error i think this should be a separate iron man tournament for every day of the month oh we have a hype train going thanks to that so this is your chance to get extra stuff if you hype the shit out of things at decraption, thanks for the 50 bits database. So, if you want some Twitch emotes, now's your chance. Go get them. Ah, Demos Lab. Another fine map. Weird old whatever this thing. <laughs> One bit by dopes. Oh wait, what was the point of that? I didn't, 
I didn't even have to go up here. Eh, whatever. It's fine. I'm running. Okay, I know I don't have to go in that room. So I'm not bothering with that. I think you still can. It's just that you can't do it everywhere. It's, for example, in the UK, I can't. I can't do it in the UK. Oh, I fucked up. No, I haven't. It's up here, isn't it? Whoa. Bye. Yoink. Goofed there a bit. <laughs> and thanks for the 250, uh, Ward Misfit. Much appreciated. That's where we're on a level 2 hype train now. Um, oh, yeah, this bit's got a few cackles, doesn't it? Great. Oh, boy. Time to swap for a few cackles. Crowbar, crowbar, thanks for the hundred. Wanted to join. Ugh. Oh, you work a lot. And thank you to World Misfit for gifting a tier 2020 speak up. Hindsight, yeah, okay, Twitch, we don't, how about fuck 2020, we don't wanna talk about the year anymore, ever. In hindsight, 2020 would be one of those years that we just forgot about. Yay, my favorite thing in a, how can you spot a new player in Doom 1? Easy. They never find this switch. Ever. I'm not I'm not kidding either. Every new player that plays Doom 1 always fails to find that particular switch. 100 percent It's always hilarious to watch. I don't blame them either. That switch is sort of blends in a little too well. And you're not looking that way. And thank you for the gifted sub to Ryan X Ryan XMB Ward Misfit. You're very generous tonight. I know you're also trying to get this hype train to keep going. I think everyone's right. Like, well, the, the, the prizes for participating will be 2020 related emotes. Nope, don't want any part of that shit. I'm bowing out. Fuck that. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, never mind. I stand corrected. I guess there is someone who wants the 2020 emote. Hype train success. Oh, God. Oh, right. That's it. The hype train's done. Choo Choo Hype Shield. Well, congratulations to those who have received and um, tier one sub to MTX. Thank you very much, Ward Misfit. We saved 2020. Woo! Okay, we're done. Well, a couple of new emotes for you all to enjoy over the festive periods. Beautiful. But yeah, you know, working's cool, Crowbar, you know. Sometimes people are busy with stuff. Oh yeah, this map doesn't have any um, keys, does it? 
You just gotta find where the buddy uh, way forward is. Just trying to remember all the, the things. It's like, oh, you gotta find the prep path or whatever. And thanks for the follow, Kongming9000. Much appreciated. Yeah, we'll just skip that. Skip that. Go around the Red Marble Fortress, because really there's no reason not to do this. And the level's over. No keys, though. Balls of the Damned. Superb level. Force Berserk Pickup. Now I need to remember not to take the secret exit in this level. Yep, the first three. Yeah, working to Kuro's Oval Commune to 1 at 5.30 is not. Thanks for gift a woo. Uh huh. Eh? This is. Guide wide. I knew it was E2M6. Oh no, E2M5. Whatever. I always think it's this one that has the secret in it. Get off my key! Get off! Ah, this is what I need. Time to take a little diversion back into the. Oh fuck, it's this one, isn't it? What up? There's nothing else here, is there? Oh crap, oh is there? Ah! 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 No! Oh, oh. No! No! Go away! Why are all the pinkies here now? Oh god! Oh god! There's a fucking baron! Ah! There's more pinkies! Why are there so many? Goddamn damn pinkies! <laughs> Leave me alone! Let me get to the fucking dark earlier. You fucks. Okay, okay, we're good. So I get into the dark area, out of the dark area, as fast as possible, with the key intact. Come on, come on, go down. Oh crap, I, I'm trying to remember what he. Oh, Jesus Christ, where is this key? Oh, Jesus! There's so many things everywhere. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, slow, stop. There it is, that's what I was after, just that. Get out of the way! Uh, hey. Okay, another white fish goggles, which is handy. Now I don't have to panic as much, being in the dark. This is supposed to be in the dark, by the way, for anyone who's never seen this bubble before. Okay. Now to get out. Oh, uh, what? I don't remember there being barons here. Oh, jeez. This is going to take a bit longer now. Right. Kill all these guys. Okay. Gotta grab that plasma.
Get back! Hey, get back here! You fuck! Right. Now that we've dealt with that little problem. Oh, for fuck's sake! I need to. I need to go back this way, don't I? And get the third key. Because there's a third key here, isn't there? Hey, Pepe Funga, how's it going? Maybe we should have gone for the void. I don't know how to do the void glide. Also, I'm in GZ, dude. I don't think I can do the void glide if I wanted to. Yeah, nice try, fake exit. Not falling for that. Is he in here? No, but there is some valuable plasma in here, which I need. I'm gonna make the cyber demon eat it. Ah! Shit. Hey, why bullshit? Oh, it's oh, it's this one, isn't it? I think. No, it's not. Oh, it's not. That's a horrible crusher. The grey maze area? Fucking hell, how many what souls are there? Holy shit! Why are the... Alright, Jesus Christ, how many fucking pinkies are left? Yeah, you're right, I win. Oh my god, and there's another one! Oh my god, it's when he get out of this fucking area, dude. Holy shit, there's so many fucking enemies. Oh yeah, you're right, it's here, isn't it? I am such an idiot. Alright, we're good. We're good. We did it. There we go. Former hype train conductor badge. Yep, you are the current one now. You are the special current train conductor. Ugh, good grief. Right. Okay, not the most efficient use of the uh, God Spear, but save ammo. It's all that counts. It's all that matters. And now I need to play a game of. I don't. I need to remember how this map goes. First thing I know is I am going the wrong fucking way here already. In fact, I'm going so the wrong way, I need to go all the way back to earlier. Two hundred cells for the cyber demon, more than enough I think. Might need a few bits of assistance from elsewhere, but it's there, I think. We're good. Ah, yeah, this is the way. Down here in the second God Spear area. With the maze of a thousand pinkies.
Oh boy, and they're out. It was put to good use. It saved me ammo on killing these guys. If I would have been dead, you see. I know what you're thinking, oh, this says, yeah, but you can just do this. These guys can be dodged, there's few of them. In fact, we just go out, bye. See you later. Have fun and all that shit. Thanks, bye. Fuck off. Oh, okay. That's a weird one, I don't remember. Ugh. Right. Yoink. Yellow key. By the best way to UV spared in that nine episode of maps. Yes, exactly. What is Peppy doing there? Is that a yellow card? Foot yellow. 2020 unroll. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to the time there either. Oh, well. Anyway, that was episode two. Episode two is good. Now for episode three.
Oh, I know he's that the other night as well. I thought it was a bit weird. Uh, not that one. No, not that one. No, no, no. Where is it? Where? Oh, come on. What's another plasma rifle? Oh, fucking hell. What did I? I got the. Okay, that was dumb. I didn't get the plasma rifle secret before I got anything else. I might be made to pay for that. Now I have all these extra dickheads to deal with, and I don't have the, really the firepower to deal with them. Well, I might be okay, maybe. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, God. Damn it. I, let's also get the... I triggered the Kako Demon. I triggered everything when I shouldn't have triggered anything. Probably the worst... Absolute worst thing to do is... Just mindlessly trigger everything on this map. Without grabbing some of the secrets which you need. I'm not making any better by not finding it. Ah, Berserk, which I might need, actually. That's a bit easier. No. You're done. Where is that bloody plasma? Get out of here, would you? Get out. Out. Hey! See? Giant hands. Alright, we're okay now. The panic is over. We did it. We did it. Yeah, here we go. That's what I was looking for. That little tasty morsel. All right. <laughs> So we can just leave the level. And that would be a great idea. Oh, white. You're talking about white, man. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Zool. What is the Doom World Master Tournament? It's basically like Iron Man, only you're allowed to use saves and you don't. The run doesn't stop when you die, you just get to keep trying. But that's only if you play the standard tournament. If you play the challenge tournament, you are only allowed to play on ultra violence or higher, and you get one attempt. And you're only allowed victories. And basically, it's a it's a it's a more complicated Iron Man, in short. And it's debuting this month, and speed still applies. And we're playing the first few episodes of Doom. I'm supposed to have kept track of a, t a time or something, but I haven't bothered with that for whatever reason. And there it is. You're gonna take part. Go wild. Yeah, yeah, I can. If I really care about that kind of thing, I'll just do it myself or whatever. Oh, for the love of fucking God. Get the fuck out. You also, buddy. Oh my good grief, man. Go away. You also. And you. Go away, all of you. 
there. Oh, for fuck's sake, I should've got the BFG. Ugh. It's a cool looking room. I didn't get the B. Oh, getting at the BFG, which would have trivialized the last boss. Oh, good God, what am I doing with myself? Shut up! No, I made a fucking mistake. It's fine, doesn't matter. I don't need to beat the episode, but. It would have made the last boss a lot easier, you know? I'm missing the SSG right now. I am really wanting SSGs to mock these bloody pinkies. Oh my god, and there's so many of them. Uh, 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 uh. God. Whoa, fucking damage. What the hell, man? Jesus fucking Christ, go away! Fucking hell. Die, please. Thank you. Fuck's sake. No, no. Please die. Please die. Please stop surviving with what map bullshit. Thank you very much. Right. After all that, there is still a goddamn baron in. Okay, I guess we can't go that fast. There. Jesus. Right. So finally, having cleared all of that up, which took forever. We. Oh wait, yeah, the BFG is like over here, isn't it? So I gotta. Oh come the fuck on! No, no, that fucking a pistol zombie gets a block map. A pistol zombie. Fucking pistol zombie. Oh, he goes. So many. Alright. We're doing alright though, we haven't died yet. Let's keep that up if we can. Thank you, or so. Thank you. Alright, that's it, I can leave now. Right, we have the BFG. Good. Thank you. 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 Go away. Hopefully forever. Oh wow, I still remembered that side. <laughs> nice. Uh, 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 
So sick of things not dying. Uh, uh. Okay, there we go. Done. Uh, oh, fuck off. What now? Oh, yeah, that's it. Red Skull. Then go through here. Skip the balance. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Go through here. Go for the exit. Hi, Kako. Who's right in my face for some reason? Hi, Kako. But it's right in my face for some reason. Hi, Kako. But it's in my face for some reason. Please go somewhere else. Hi. We went for the... That was a bit more stressful than I had anticipated, I will admit. I'm trying to speed run. What is it? I can't do anything right in this community. I can't speed run. Can't map. Yet. And at the moment, the Giz Book of Records does not recognize my accomplishment of complaining about Revenants and Icon of Sins for eight years. I'm going nowhere, man. Maybe I should just give it all up and become a manga streamer 24-7. There was this. What am I doing? This is way off the beaten path. I don't bring out ammo for everything, so Do I have a chainsaw? No, I don't. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm running out of ammo for things and I'm in this weird room. Which I honestly don't remember. Well, I suppose I don't. Uh, I need ammo, like, badly. I, have, I, I say this while I possess 300 cells, but there's no way I want to waste them on. You share your well hunting perspective. Ow, oh, yeah, this room is hot coals. I'm, I, I don't, why am I going that way? That is also the wrong way. Here we go. This is where I need to be. In here. I think I only need 40 cells for the end, but... Oh, God. I'm actually... I'm actually gonna have to use my fucking plasma gun at this rate. Because I am so low on ammo for everything else at this point. Unbelievable. Gotta use my plasma gun already. Because somebody didn't keep track of their ammo properly. Fuck off, Crusher, as if you just did that. We are not friends anymore. Well, I try my best to make it as well-rounded as possible, but... <clears throat> there are some... Although I suppose that's no different to many people, there are some horrible, horrible biases. What am I doing? Ah, uh, uh, yes. Hey, boys! Oh, for fuck's sake! Give out Buddy Berserk. How did I screw up that BFG shot right there? Nah. No. Just stop. Stop. No. 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 Just leave. Leave the level. Go to an even more annoying level. Oh god, it's 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 Mount Fire it's it's fi it's Mount Goodbye Stream quality. Okay, we're inside. We're safe from the uh the blurry cloud of death for now. I have no armor. Horrible mistakes were made. Horrible mistakes were made. Just not there.
Yes, exactly. Mount Fire Blue. You all know the deal. And now we step over the path and get nibbled on. We just infinite height. Thanks, infinite height. I love infinite height. Infinite height is great. There's a gun spear. Do I have a chainsaw though? No. I mean, it would be helpful still, but you know. That was a speed when I knew how to quit this level quick. Anyway, dead imp. Dead imp. Dead imp. Dead imp. Show what a dead fly is. Oh yeah, are you still here, Depop? Mighty, mighty Depop. He of the... Uh, whatever, it's still worth doing it just to... Even if I take the 20% damage now. So good, so good. That was, a, that was a much more dumber decision on my part, however. Okay, never mind. Uh, fuck me. Where am I going in here? Hey, I went that episode earlier. But it's all fine. It's all hunky dory. I'll just use it now. Like this and this and this and this and this and this and this. Because I don't know where the keys are. I don't remember all the bloody keys are is the answer to that question. Oh wait, no, don't do this. This is for the secret exit, which we are not taking. It's because I don't know where every key is for every speedrun strat in Doom 1. I'm not allowed to go for secret exits, though, is the thing. I may have played Doom 1 quite a lot over the years, but I have never speedrun Doom 1, which is very different. And I do not have the most intimate knowledge of every aspect of every part of the level. Just a reasonable chunk of it. Oh, God's sake, get out the... F the one fucking hole I want to go into, and every caco is like there for a big party. Let's huddle around the soul spear so that I can't get it conveniently enough. Thank you so very much. Where the fuck is this blue key thingy? That I have ritually forgotten where it is. Oh my fucking god, I have ritually forgotten where the bloody exit is. No wait, no, no, never mind. I have suddenly remembered where the exit is. Think? No, sorry. There it is. Okay. Now, Wimbo. Will I remember where all the locations of the teleporters are for everything else? And there's the bloody backpack I wanted. Hey, MD Menzo, how's it going? Right, blue key, blue key. Blue. I'm not. I'm not gonna fucking rush now too much because I, I. I'm gonna be very careful, somewhat. Well, sort of, at least. Just don't want to get bollocked now. 
All right, blue key, go back. Yes, there's a this. All right, actually, yeah, we never mind. This is. Uh, wrong room. Wrong checkpoint. Now, I'm not taking any chances. You fucking things can go away. I'm not having you. Oh, Jesus Christ, why is the one just waiting there? Please just go away. Okay, let's try and find remember the thing. Um, can't fucking remember. No, wait, this is the right way. You go through here, down here. No, not that one. Down there. Something, something. Teleporter, go on the other side. Press key, press switch, press switch. Go for this thing. Which takes you back here. Uh, then you have to do the old uh, 80 bazillion thingy puzzles. That's one of them. The old door puzzle. Go for that one. Whoops. That's uh, the last one you go through. Need the orange. Now I have to go through. Let's see, left side, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, look, another pinky that takes three fucking shots. Isn't that just great? Aren't we glad that the SSG was invented for the sequel? Of course we fucking are. Um, up, up, can skip that. Grab that. Had to save me a bunch of time. Uh, now we go back to the previous room thing from earlier. Hi, Kakos, how you doing? Don't have time to stop and murder you all. I'm on a endurance run thing. And I forgot to get the fucking switch. So actually, this is not the end. Because I'm an idiot. I didn't get the switch press. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck, 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 fuckity fuck. I forgot which one was the actual... And that's the answer. It's there. Okay, my bad. I forgot to get the important that one, but it's okay. No. Yes. What the fuck? Oh god damn it, are you kidding me? Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, I forgot to get the other other switch in the other location. In the other whatever. If I can do this one. Okay, now we can fucking leave. Third time's the bloody charm, right? These cacos are still not for it. GG. Thank you. Alright. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two. Oh, ten seconds. That was good. <clears throat> and there we go. Ten seconds. I wish I got the last map's time. <laughs> this is funny. Oh, I'm glad you're finding it amusing. Mm. And that's uh, that's Doom. That is the uh, first three episodes of Doom 3. Wow. I did that in under two hours. That's pretty good. I mean, if I had the secret levels, it would have taken two hours, but no secret levels means, well, we can save some time. Hearing me swear, oh, I do that all the time, convicts. Reminds me of a gag of one of the vi uh, the recent angry video game nerd video where, you do <laughs> I've been doing it wrong all these years, I should be using Sammy. <laughs> yeah. Boy, Doom One is still fun, isn't it? You do miss the you do miss the super shotgun after a bit, though. You always end up doing the um, super shotgun miss. 
Yeah, Slow Crusher and nearly screwed myself up on uh, House of Pain. That was it. Otherwise, this was pretty comfortable. The, mo the most difficult part is going to be getting the time correct for the end of the... Well, that'll just require some editing, I guess. <sighs> well, that was fun. Is Iron Man or Eagle out yet? Any chance that Nas has posted the Iron Man while I've done all this? Because if so, we could turn this into a let's do all the Iron Mans tonight kind of thing. Because that would be nice. I, could, I mean, I could just do the Iron Eagle now while I want a bit of a roll, but let's see. Nope, nope, nobody, nope, 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 and nope. No dice. Well, that's just fucking great. There's no um, Iron Man. We still, as you do. Oh yeah, of course, bunny ending. Can't forget the bunny. Oh, look at the rabbit. Isn't it a cute little rabbit? Uh, it's Doom Strict or Free, MB Menzel. If you are interested in the uh, details, there they are. I didn't actually, I was supposed to note the time for each of the levels. I'll do that afterwards, I'll sort of figure it out. I could probably make a rough approximation. And we'll just use that as the final time or whatever. No big deal. No, Daisy! You know, for the longest time, I always used to think that that bunny head was impaled. That was the Doom guy's hand holding up the bunny head. I thought that was like he'd found it dead and he's like, Urgh! I'm holding it in my hands, I'm angry. What have you done with my rabbit? But um, instead, it's impaled on a, a post. Yeah, I always used to think that was a hand. The Doom guy's hand being very angry or something. Oh well, still gory. And there's Doom 2 happening with that lovely reflected orange sky skyscraper. Very cool shit, honestly. <laughs> Alright then, so, um, now what do I do? Do I attempt the challenge run, which requires me to beat episode 4? Oh uh, no, 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 no. Episode four is a much different pain in the ass. I mean, I could probably get through it. <laughs> Episode four is like, can you survive E4M2? And can you survive E4M6? And that's about it. If you can get through those two, actually, you usually can get through the rest. Oh, hello, Mega Wego Smuggler. How nice of you to say that. I think if they actually show him hunting like that, the player might wonder, why did I just kill a rabbit? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I, I thought it might be like they fa he found the, the dead head. It's like, oh, whatever. No. Finish and end stream and go to bed early. Short stream. Go to bed early? It's fucking Saturday. I have no work in the morning. In fact, I'm kind of hoping that there'll be something for me to watch or do later tonight. Okay, fine. We'll attempt episode four. Okay, so the rules for episode four are a little different. Episode four, I cannot save the game. And if I die, I go back to the beginning of episode four. <laughs> Stop the stream and get, it and get out of bed late. Long stream. A spin zing. So, but, okay, I guess we will have an attempt at the challenge stream. I will have one attempt. One. Then I think I might do the Iron Eagle, to be honest. Might as well get that out of the way. And I guess I'll do the Iron Man some other time or something. Or whatever. Or I could do some mapping. I guess that is an option. Or I could just end the stream early and... Do, let's do something else. Ah, whatever. Right, well, I've one attempt at the challenge stream then. So, as the rules of the... The, the thing state... Which I have to go back to... Um, the challenge competition, I have to play on ultraviolence, at least. I, uh, I only get one. 
I don't get to save. If I die, I have to start from the very beginning again. Uh, and that's it. So, okay, episode four on ultraviolence. Here we go. Ye old John Romero Dickery. Wait, no, sorry, that's the next level. Uh, ye old. What is it, John Romero? No, wait, John Romero didn't do E4 M1, did he? Mercury McGee? That's usually what happens when you try to finish E4 M1. You usually end with fuck all health. That's how it works. Yeah, that was it, America. Need to find the uh, secret rocket launcher. It is not tagged. Correct, we. Yes, this is ultraviolence. This level has very few hit points you can gain back. Don't go in there, it's a... And we're just gonna leave that before. Oh wow, I should to finish the world with 42 health. Good start. And now, perfect hatred. Ye old, ye old John Romero Dickery. Before Sigil, there was this, which he did in eight hours. Thanks, John Romero. Thank you so very much. The one advantage I have here is that I do have a bit of health to play with. That's it. Oh, wow. Wow, holy shit. How did I not get hit there? That was a little crazy. I took zero damage from a bat. Boy, am I lucky. Or is it unlucky? Oh, plasma's so good. Ugh. Get off me. Get off me. Oh. Yeah, I missed the opportunity to take the easy thing out. That was dumb. Maybe not. I was going to say, supposed to lower something? Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Oh, wait. Oh, should I? Oh, this is for the secret, isn't it? And we don't want the secret. We got no secret exit on this one either. Oh, wow.
still teleflag the cyber demon. Oh god, that would be so handy actually. Oh fuck, 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 no. I think Okay, let's just not do that. Whoa, that was nearly a very, very bad idea by me. Is it? Oh yeah, so there is. Survive one of the tougher tests of E4. The other one is E4 M6. Sloggy slog slog slog. And again. Ah, oh, finally, a cooperative bloody Spectre that died on me two hits. this bit. Nope. That's a little too busy right now. I would just go to the exit, but there's these cackos in the way. These kind of need to be dealt with. So, bye Kakos, bye Cyber Demon. Bye Perfect Hatred, bye Jordan Mellow Level, that's probably one of the best ones in E3, 4. <sighs> I wish I knew the trick for that, I really do. I do not, however, know the trick for that. So now if you know that trick, you can beat the level in record time! Yeah. Oh well! Guess we'll just beat this level normally like everyone else has to. <sighs> Shut up. <sighs> I can't do SR fifties.
The difference here, though, is that by this point in the episode, you have a lot of ammo and stuff to work with. The main reason the first two uh, maps are difficult is because of the getting up to your weapons and health stuff. It's a great way to start the episode. That's why E4M1 and E4M2 are very memorable for their brutality. But then E4 just kind of gets easier for a bit until Romero shows up again. Sky and the wood textures are quite. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't need to be there. Yoink. Bye. I'll see you never. need to go down to this way, climb some steps, not get fucked over by you or anything else. I'm going there right here, right? Ow. Ow. Where is my fucking health going? No. 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 And for good dose. Oh Christ. Okay, screw it. I'm gonna finish the level on 37% health. This might oh, this might backfire very quickly, even though this level is also kinda of easy. This level is easier. a secret. I, uh, I didn't know that one. Hope is that not kidding? I didn't actually know about that secret. I don't know why. It seems like it's kind of obvious and it sticks out with a sore bloody thumb, but there you go. Hey, dang camel and the 64 Raiders. There are no cats here, unfortunately, but there is an iron... Well, in Jones' tournaments. Oh no, what do I do with my 79 rockets of death? I guess I'll use a few of them. Welcome, everyone. How was your variety stream tonight? Today, Camel? We're doing the challenge run of the tournament, by the way. We, uh, we have beaten the normal challenge, unsurprisingly. We're doing the challenge run where we have to beat episode 4 on One Life. For extra points! Infinite height, please. Enough of this shit. Alright, 
GG. They will repent. Appreciate that. Sure, there's a lot of battles on this level. Thanks, uh, Willits and Teresa Chaser. Oh boy, why did I do that at all? Infinite High didn't screw me over that time. Because there was no more soul underneath to do it. Oh my goodness. It's... Whoa! Those did not pay homage to the mustard jumper or so repent. Maybe. Oh wow. Five gifted subs to Bower Software, Weak Source 13, Duminator, Bamfis A9, and J Messed Up, or Spaz 966. Screw you. And you, and you, and. Yeah, also you. Adios, suckers. Um, please kill those. Give me that. No, 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 thank you. No, no, go away. Oh, it's down here, isn't it, I think? Is that right? I think so. Oh, well, supercharge is always nice. Wait, go away. Ah! Oh my god, what's this? Oh, jeez. I should have not picked up that second red suit if I remember what was coming over here. Oh my god, I did it! I did it! Yes! Fuck that! I am pausing because I need the sounds to not distract me during this level. And five more gifted subs. To Howl, Captain Peel Card, Young Bonker, Mr. Zool, and Griffin Guards. There was a hype train earlier. These would have been really great during it, I suppose, but oh well. That's 10 subs in three minutes. Okay, so for all of you who have just been gifted a sub by the generous combination of Robot Pharos, here are the subs you can now use for a month. Enjoy. And now, the second John Romero level and the second real challenge of E4. The level where you have to deal with a cyber demon in the most awkward spot possible. Thank you, John Romero. You magnificent bastard. I could almost make that quote from that one film. You magnificent bastard, I read your book! Except Mamero didn't make Masters of Doom. I don't even know what film that was from. Pattern or something? Hey, Smitty Smart. If I bet past this, I should be able to complete the challenge. But this level is very hard. 
and very unforgiving. There he is. And I don't know when I get that secret, so I'm doubly fucked. Oh, for the love of God. Will you please just kill that fucking caco? Yes. Kill it. There we go. Um. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I don't one of these is a fake. Bingo. This is what I was looking for. A fake wall for the extra plasma, which I badly need. Oh boy. Now. We have to go down here and. Not get murdered horribly. Screw you. Thank you. I mean, use this opportunity to- Oh! Thank you. Please go away. Try to weep forever. Yeah, we'll need, we could... Ow! Ow! That's really... Okay, this is really the wrong way. Ow! What the fuck keeps fucking hitting me for, like, nearly all my fucking health? Every bloody time. Fucking hell, I hate this level so damn much. For this context, I mean, it's a good level normally, but fuck you if you're trying to play it. Ugh. For an Iron Man, it's an absolute pain. Why the fuck am I getting hit for all these bloody directions? Stop it! Oh my good lord. Man. with the fucking neither of the keys I needed. So I've just wasted my time. Yeah, I'm not doing another one of this. This is this is why I would really need a save just at the beginning of the fucking level. I'm not trying to get myself killed, I'm just trying to figure out where to go when I have completely forgotten where to go. GG! Not attempting that again. Not even fucking close. No fucking way am I attempting E4. I hate E4 of M6 on an Iron Man. Fuck that shit. That's a level you need to fucking know every trick for to beat. Ugh. God. I was doing so well. I managed to do E2 M E4 M2 with... That was a good run for E4M2, but E4M6 is a fucking nightmare. It's a horrible, evil level. And you have to go down to a pain sectored floor every time you want to go through one of the four portals. <clears throat> oh my god. Holy cow, thank you for the stuff. Ugh, such a pain. I mean, I've played that every time I... That is the worst... That is the most evil level in all of, like, Doom 1 is E4M6. You have all the supplies in the world, but because it's such awkwardness, pain sectors, a weird teleport thing in the middle, awkward platforms, and that cyber placement. It is a pain in the ass level every single time you play it. Ah! Retexture that slightly, you could, it would have belonged in Sigil easily. Just did some Jimmy soundtrack to it. 
You know, just darken the lights and it would have been a sigil level. Uh, well, I tried. I tried, everyone. I gave an attempt. I tried to do the challenge run and I did not succeed. Is the Iron Man week been released yet? No, it's not. It, it's, 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 it's just a map that you need to, for this context, you need to know where you're going. And then you need to just get there. I didn't know where to go. That's what cost me. You know, if I knew exactly where to go, I'd be fine. But I do not remember every bit of that map. So that is the one map. If you're going to attempt this challenge, the challenge part of the iron of the endurance test, absolutely memorize E4M6 so you know where to go because... You do not want to hang around E4M6 very long, because if you could get through that, then E4M7 and 8 are easy. It's just that, it's just E4M2 and E4M6. And if you find the rocket launcher, E4M2 start is a little more, less of a pain. Ugh, God. Whatever. I beat, I beat the first three episodes without dying, so... That's an accomplishment. Now what? Um, well, yeah, it's a rough start, granted, but it's the first level, so, you know, it's... Uh, hey, Moe. Hi, dude. Did you play the Doom mod Can't Run From Evil? Um, yeah, you can make as many attempts as you want. World Misfit, but the only one that is a, in, the, in the challenge portion of the endurance tournament, the only um, submission that is allowed to be sent is the winning one. You're not allowed to like die on map six and call it submission, like the regular challenge. You have to beat it. That's why it's the challenge component. The challenge section of the tournament is essentially just Iron Man, regular Iron Man stuff. We have to beat it in one sitting with no extra saves. And the Normal part is more generous. So, um, do I don't can't run, I don't think I have actually, Moe. I'll just check my list real quick. So I need to just do not whoop. Can't run from evil. Let's see. Nope, never played it. I haven't heard of that one. Uh, try it. I like it. I'm not taking requests right now, Moe, is the thing. I have, um, I'm not taking requests at the moment. But next month, I might be doing something regarding the list. Uh, there used to be a request list, um, that I had. Um, which I may or may not bring back next year, depending on how I feel and if I can come up with a plan for it. It's a little less work-world clusterfucky, but... Anyway, uh, I, I, I think I might just do the Iron Eagle, to be honest. And then if the Iron Man Wii comes out, I'll just have to do that at a separate point. I think that'd be a good idea. So I'm going to do the Iron Eagle, methinks. Might as well keep the momentum going a little bit, since there are quite a few people here, thanks to Camel's Raid, and just in general, to get it sorted. What? I just want to burn time. No, I want to. I want the Iron Man League out. If the Iron Man League releases in the next hour, I will play it right now. This could be the Iron Man triple header stream where I play everything. Because that would be really nice, you know? So, I'm gonna do this next. So, let's say goodbye to Ultimate Doom. Say hello to a competition that did come out this month in reasonable time. Thanks, Pegleg. Put you in the corner. I just need to set this up for a few moments. So bear with me while I set up PR. Oh, actually, fucking hell. I need to download this. Never mind anything else. Um... Oh, jeez, what the hell was all this? Oh, God. I have the stuff from last month's Iron Man week. Oh, God, I haven't planned this at all. Oh, jeez. Okay, just give me a second. I'm going to do this as fast as I can. Just need to download some stuff, you know, things. Iron Eagle, go over there. Yes. 
download this, whatever. Come on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yes! Jesus fucking Christ. Yes! There we go, thank you. 62 viewers, no pressure. <laughs> I'm doing it as fast as I can. Ah. Okay. Wow, 62 viewers, that's pretty good. Thank you for sticking around, all 62 viewers. Alright, do you need those? And. Oh, fuck, I have to do. Oh, they're separate maps. I have to do them one at a time, which is really going to be awkward for setting up um, PR boom. Do it, they're all gone! <laughs> okay, okay, alright, alright. So, um. Oh. Okay, there's no D hacked required. That's cool. Songs of the Damned is map 1, Victory is map 30. Right then, remove. It is at least it's Doom 2, so that's nice. Um, add from Doom World, bear with me, it shouldn't take very long. I need to go do songs first. Okay, comp level 9 is the command line for this one, so comp level 9, launch, launch. And hello, PR Boom! Or more accurately, uh, G GL Boom. Whoa, 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 bloody hell. So hold the fucking line, would you? Christ, PL Boom, calm down. Can we wait, would you? Let me do the description first. Right, so this is now the Iron Eagle. I need to update the topic slightly. Um. Need to change it from being Doom Classic Complete to Doom 2. How on earth? And it would be nice if it actually would update when it does that. Thank you. Good, good, good. Right, now that we've changed the title to Doom 2 because there should be one for Ultimate Doom as well, let's talk about the Iron Eagle for the month. So for those who don't know what the Iron Eagle is, it is a more standard and easier to follow Iron Man style thing that has been going on for almost two years now. Over two years now. Uh, as run by Pegleg. Basically, the idea is you play a wad, you can choose one of three difficulties, hey, not too rough, hurt me plenty, or ultra violence. And you play a wad, and once you die, that is it. And that's your run. You can prepare a run, or you can not prepare a run. There used to be that uh, in the event when, when this first started out, you were only allowed to submit PR Boom demos, which I did. Then they changed it so you can do Zaydoom, but I stick with PR Boom because this this contest helped get me some practice for PR Boom, allowed me to play stuff in PR Boom, or I prefer to use GZ Doom. So I, as a tribute to that, I continue to play every Iron Eagle in PR Boom. Very handy for those what's that required to play in PR Boom because otherwise it don't work in Jesus Doom. Like experiencing Nirvana, for instance. That little thing. We all remember the wonderful adventures of experiencing Nirvana. Ah, uh, fun times. <clears throat> so anyway, this is the 26 Iron Eagle Songs of the Damned and Drip Feed, which are single maps. So, two distinct maps made by the same author, which is Trevor Primit. And these are CAC Award winning maps, too. These maps are both boom compatible, not part of a duology. So, Songs of the Damned is map one, which I'm playing first, and then Drip Feed is map 30. Oh no. Is that an icon of sin map then, or is it just happens to be map 30 for other coincidental reasons? Oh, please don't tell me it's an icon of sin map. No, I don't want to play a solo icon of sin map in an Iron Eagle. God damn it. No. <laughs> uh, uh. You think this guy did a BTS X map? Trevor Primit? Um, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, he did. He did map six, which I just looked up now. Wow, holy crap, he did map six. So, okay, well, we're in good ads then. He's a BTSX guy, so that means his map is obviously going to be good. Right? 
Right. Right. So, comp level 9, and there's two different kinds of runs. The bird runs, or... Sorry, non-blind or blind runs. So I will be doing a... Uh, well, it's blind. I've never seen this before. This came out in 2006. 18th of December, 2006. They also did a map in Community Chess 2. The second map. So we have some experience. So hopefully this will be good. Right, let's play. So here's Songs of the... Sorry, Songs of the Damned. The first of the two maps. So we'll be playing on Ultra Violence. I am completely blind. I don't know what to expect. 279 monsters, not counting any lost souls because PR Boom doesn't count lost souls because PR Boom is fucking weird. But great in some aspects. I hear a cyber demon at the very beginning. Oh boy. The way Carmack intended. What, Carmack always intended lost souls to not count as enemies on the kill thing? That just seems weird. That always seems weird to me, that. Like, why would you not count lost souls on the enemy list? So we have some custom music too, whatever this is. Because they are so scum, subhuman. Nice detailing already evident here. Gotta say. Yeah, it's a good way to impose dread at the beginning of a level, isn't it? Just hearing that cyber demon or an art or a spider mastermind or a group of archfiles, it's like, oh boy, what are we in for this time? I wonder. Who knows? Who knows? By the way, if anyone knows Naza, please feel free to bug him for the next hour, because if the Iron Man League launches in the next hour, I could play that afterwards as a follow-up. Then I can get all three Iron Man things done in one stream. And... That's the one distraction west for mapping. Wow, I calculate that angle really poorly. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Oh no, this looks arena-tastic. Which it kind of is. Kind of. <laughs> and fight you fox. Oh, no, oh, oh, wow, that was a little... Yes! Got him! No, oh, whoa, 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 Jesus, fuck, that was... Several bumps there, right next to enemies. Really not a good idea. Oh, nice, you got him. The, 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 the. You played this map pretty recently. Nice. You killed both of them before getting uh, destroyed. Hey, Bo, so if you could get lost. Huh. I mean, these are CAC Award winning maps on their own. Don't know. I guess this won a CAC award in 2006. I always, I always 
slightly feel a bit uncomfortable when I switch from Jeez, the Jeezy Doom movement to the uh, more replicated vanilla movement of um, PR Boom. Like, it always just feels slightly uncomfortable for me when I switch between them. But I have shown that I can play in a PR Boom now. When I first started, oh, I hated it completely. But, you know, PR Boom has its uses. It's more vanilla. It's more closer to the original source code. And at least it's consistent and won't change between updates. Cough, cough, graph, zow. Which I know bugs. So I guess that's, which I guess is the price you pay for using a more high demanding, more impressive, but you know, thing that changes is that you create, you spend six billion hours on a, um, a, a fancy Doom mod and then, uh, a new version comes out and all of a sudden, hang on. Because of a slight change in the uh, thing. It doesn't work anymore. Like what happened with the scaling of the text for I have no idea, for instance. You know, our crowd has experienced recently. Whereas PR Boom, I'm pretty sure, hasn't updated in forever. Am I right in thinking that? Like, PR Boom hasn't updated in a long time, really? Right, I'm using version 2.5.1.4. Slight change in the thing. Yes, that's a very technical description. No, I do not remember when there was the scaling with, um, I have no idea, the tech scaling didn't quite work because, oh, what? oh wow, that was, oh no, it's going away. No, come back, Blue Skokie. Come back. God damn it. Now I have to go and find the Blue Skokie somewhere. Wait, I think I know where it might be actually. Isn't that going up outside or something? I guess it's going to... Oh. No, never mind. I thought I could end up out here for some reason. Oh. Well, boy, do I feel stupid. I have no bloody idea that it's gone then. There are new versions of Boom every day. Wait, we can Okay, fine, and I have no idea what I'm talking about because I don't play with PR Boom as such, but I assume that there was a stable version that people have used for years. It's not like updating from all the different versions of GZ Doom because of new fancy cool shit. I don't know where I'm fucking going, to be honest. I know there was, I know there was a key that went down a wood trail, and then I got lost. Open. Backwards compat is important for Doom. GG sometimes misses the mark on it. Yeah, I would have to agree with that. I know, I haven't really experienced that problem, but I know that Knee Deep and Zaydoom used to work on older versions of DZ Doom, and then in newer versions it kind of doesn't. So I know that, you know, backwards compatibility is important, or having the option to for older wads and all the fancy stuff. But that's what you get with uh, having an overly complicated sort of fancier source port. A bleak one that is very good most of the time. Still amazes me though how PR Boom runs nuts so damn well. I don't know. Where the fuck am I going here? What have I missed? Is there like a. There are two Hell Knights there that open. Then a blue key. Ugh. I like GZ Doom. GZ Doom is what I use. So I like its movement and option. You know, I have the option to play in complete vanilla style or I can switch it up. 
You know, I don't have to... I can play the fancy cool things. But I like... No, this is PR Boom. Step it as. Uh, I play the Iron Eagle stuff in PR Boom. I don't know where the fuck I'm going here. I am... What have I missed on this goddamn level? Oh. Okay. That's a fucking door? Alright. Guess that's a door. And that isn't a secret. Apparently. That is a door! Okay. That is a door. I would have not have known that. Not something I would have called. Oh, yeah. That's enough of that. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. There's a lot of things. Okay. Good. There's a lot of things. Okay. Good. Time for really bad idea again. Uh, go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. Jesus, it's a lot of meat out there. Oh, fuck you. Hello, Mikey Dirt, how's it going? Yeah, if only I had the tools to do it. I was hoping that the infighting would lend a hand in this particular regard, but it doesn't seem to be developing the case, so I'm gonna have to do it myself. Doing all right, Mikey, doing all right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, steady on, Mancubus. We'll get to you eventually. Oh. Oh, God. Why is the Baron in the fucking way? Just kill this mancubus so I could get spread shot to death. Jesus. Now we can move on. At least a little bit. Um Okay. Takes care of them. Um. Okay. What the hell is this? What the fuck? Okay then. What is that, like a puzzle? I honestly thought that was inescapable for a moment. Uh, right, uh, okay. Oh, it's orange key up there, but, uh, all right, whatever, I guess. Please don't tell me that this is a fucking map set where that is a puzzle and if you don't get the select solution you get soft locked and the whole thing is over because that is the case. Fuck you, mapper! Oh, I guess that wouldn't be a problem if this was not an Iron Eagle and I was doing this completely blind. 
Why do I have a horrible feeling that is exactly the case and you're not supposed to, like, not know the solution to that? Because I don't know where else to go. Oh, God, that's going to be it, isn't it? It's going to be turned out, but actually, no, actually, we're supposed to go up there and press the right switch and it would do things. When is the door another door, John? I think the most important reason it speaks in favor of a person instead of Jeezy is that they're not maintained by an imbecile. Eh, I like Jeezy Doom. Even despite Graf's reputation. But it was. I mean, what other source port supports UDMF Jeezy Doom stuff? That's the kind of stuff I'm into, and no other source port, as far as I'm aware, really does that. I think. Uh, it's like QZ Doom and... Yeah, but would you really think that was a door, though? I mean, I don't thought that was just a fancy mint text, but anyway. Are you seriously telling me that I'm... Right, unless I could go... Oh, God. This is going to be one of those where it's like, either A, I was right the first time, or B, there's something else you can do, but you're going to have, but it's like a, this map is not blind friendly, is it? So I'm probably dead now. Because I pressed the wrong switch, or if there is a way of resetting that, you're not getting it. So I guess this map's over. I think. Unless I, can, unless I can just go over there and go up that lift. There's like a, a lift structure, but I'll, I guess this is over otherwise. Oh, there we go. Never mind. The map set can continue. I thought I'd fucked the map over. I mean, maybe one of those switches doesn't kill you in lava, but hey, all right, we can continue. We found a key. Okay, everyone, we can carry on with the level. changing f texture changing floors I should consider doing that that way the things could blend into the map just change the floor texture that makes sense when it wants it to load or whatever I do not at all like this swirling scrolling but hey Thank you. As I said, scrolling, scrolling, fire blue things. And more scrolling textures. Scrolling textures are. Uh... Oh god, scrolling textures! Why don't I need to do that? I think. Like, it's scrolling textures with boom, definitely. Or vanilla, even. God, gee. Two block maps for something that size? Get out of it. Scrolling box textures. Yeah, maybe. Well, okay, I mean, I think some scrolling text, one or two scrolling textures might be nice for visual stuff. You know?
Ah! Jesus fucking hell, lost so gold. All right, no more lost souls around. I hope. I don't like this Baron being where it is. I was so. There we go. Holy moly. Health, please. Oh my god, some fucking armor. Yes, at last. That will definitely help. As would not doing all of what I just did. Look, I'm sliding around here for some reason. Oh god. Uh what? Okay, good, he's in fighting. Yay! Woof. To the races. Get him, Hell Knight. Get him. Hey, Paul. Now, it's not actually ice physics. It just feels like it because the movement is so weird and vanilla for me. Whoa. Oh, right. There's more imps up here that need to be. Come on. Stop fucking plot mapping every single one of the fucking imps, please. Or the RNG, or whatever it is that means that the shotgun has to have had three shots to kill an imp. A fucking imp. It's just a fucking imp. Alright. Hey, Bull Toad, how's it going, man? Oh. No, no secrets there. Sorry, man, it's just a little... Uh, just push the man up a bit. Oh, God, there's another... Please don't tell me this. I don't think there's a pain element. There's just so many... There's quite a few souls packed around somewhere up there. Skanky Doom. Are you... You're making shit up, aren't you, Dave? Skanky do. Oh, wow. Look at those pillars. I mean, beams, even. They look nice. Mancubus, if you want to fire, now would be a really good time for you to discover your random firing. You know... Fire at the Ratnachon, so we get some in fights, please! No, never mind, just continue to just be up there and not fire upset when I'm in the open range. And then you can just... Hey, Mancubus! Yeah, there you go! Oh, for crying out loud. Yes! But they're not, now they're not far enough away! Uh, 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 uh. Fine, fucking fine. I wanted to save some ammo, but obviously I'm not allowed to do that. So I'll just do it myself again. Eat this bloody serpents, you putrid wankers. Hey, Z time 23. No, we're not talking about H Doom. Can't talk about H Doom in a family friendly stream such as this one. It's not allowed. Goody! I 
can't even see that fucking mancubus. Somehow. How the fuck do I not even see him to be able to shoot him off a fucking wedge? How are you not dead? Right, Jesus Christ. I can shoot it from there, okay. What the? What so? Not now. All my friggin' ammo later. Finally we could proceed. Where are these random was souls coming from all the damn time? Why do I hear an arch fire? Why do I hear the end of the run coming into frame very suddenly? Oh, yay, the super shotgun at last. But, whoa, whoa, steady on. Steady on, stop this. Pretty madness. Oh. Oh, right. Okay, cool. The whole tower is wallowing. Oh, whoa. <laughs> what? Did all that just to... That's an interesting way of showing what something had opened. Wallow, see thing open. Relays lift, go back up, go around. That's a... Interesting way of doing that, I guess. Hey, Shafni, how's it going? weird to see some of the walls wallowing, but that was a cool way of showing that off and forcing the player to not be able to immediately go down there. Didn't really seem to do much with that though. You thought maybe because it drained the water, it's like, oh shit, there's a horde of enemies coming out of the, um, the, 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 this, and you gotta rush back through, but it was just like a couple. So, cool idea. Sort of technical ideas like that. Maybe I can see why this did win a CAC award in 2006. For technical accomplishments. If nothing else. There's that. And there's that satisfying SSG sound. Pinkies be gone. Also spectres. And then more scrolling textures that are a bit weird and wonky or whatever. Does H2 actually have any levels specifically designed for it at the moment? Do I, I mean, I have played H2 once. It has, it's, it has the standard Doom levels, and it has this level that's just a bedroom with a couple of switches that spawn some enemies. And otherwise, it just seems to be a mod designed for, you know, beating the meat a bit. And nothing else. <laughs> wow, that was really fucking good of me. Just hit the fucking uh, 
Um, Hell night thing and lose nearly all your health. Good job, me. Good fucking job. kind of detract from the point of hate doom though and it's basically a novelty that lasts five minutes i guess it wouldn't be you know it's not again an adventure of like doom guy spunk fest and his quest to find the ultimate uh companion or something oh i have two keys maybe i should use one of them oh boy here comes an arch vial Maybe. Here comes an arch vial. Maybe. Here comes an arch vial. Yep. Have fun. Oh, good. You had directed one oh, hell knight. Have it here. Metal for you. Get him. Go on, Anna. Go on. Go on. There's my boy. Oh. A nice secret. No, the scrolling is not aligned on that. And it looks a bit weird. But whatever. Adventures of Rule34.net say though this is a nicely crafted level definitely feels like it's coming from someone who knows how to make a good doom map you know oh, i guess we will get to see a cyber demon there's the cyber demon all waiting for to kill me in one hit videos I have a I have a copy of a hate doom 
I just can't show it you because it's banned on Twitch. So you will never see it. Also, it's really not that big a deal. Come on, I'm at the tron. No, try again. Yeah, that's right, Shafni. It's hard work, you know? Buying those creators. Hard work. I think you played this map before. Uh, no, I don't remember a map like this. Honestly. Um... I don't recall playing a map like this. I mean, this guy did make a map for the fuck's sake. Can I please stop running into every fucking projectile like that? God fucking damn it. I mean, this guy made a map for Sweetie Chest 2. He made a map for... That's uh, next, but I don't recall playing this. I mean, just playing one map by itself is not seems to be like the kind of thing I'd have just sort out. Ah, right, good, I can try to put this little how night of notice. Oh, rocket launcher, blast. And one of those weird switches again. Ah, oh, yes. Screw you up, screw off, buddy. Die, please. Die, please. Thank you. You're not sniping me anymore across the map, you cunt. Not anymore. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just assume it's a weird deja vu on your part. I mean, um, what? what the f oh, for God's sake. Yeah, it's a good thing this isn't UV first, you're right. I must have bought one of the ray sectors there. Ooh, gun spear, that could be handy. That will be handy in a little bit. When we're fighting a cyber demon. Which is actually on the loose now. Uh so I guess it'll be useful now. Hello, Cyber Demon. Let's kill you as quickly as possible, shall we? Uh, die, please. 
Ay. Yay. Nah, forget it. Don't waste your ammo on those clowns. Um. Um. Okay. Oh, well, whatever. I guess it was still useful. I, just, I feel like... I, oh, yeah, it's the um, wall bounce thing, isn't it? We can bounce off walls at angles and shit like that. Yeah, it's a vanilla engine doom thing, whatever. The backdrop could use one different texture. Hey, hey, how you doing, Northern Bear 25? We're doing the Iron Eagle. We were doing the Endurance Tournament earlier, but we beat the standard challenge and failed at the challenge challenge. So now I'm doing the Iron Eagle, and I'm sort of hoping that the Iron Man League will come out in the next five minutes so I can do that too. Uh, we'll see. Alright, fuck, it's despair. Unfortunately, not the skill to dodge really obvious projectiles. That I do not seem to have to na in this attempt for whatever reason. Whoop, whoop. Oh. Dead. Uh, well, if the Iron Man weed comes out, then yeah, I'm going for sort of a long haul. But the Iron Man weed isn't out yet, so... That looks to be most... Okay, what the hell is happening here? Um... Alright. This... Yay! Red Skull. Now we have all the skulls. Isn't that great? I have all the skulls. What the fuck am I doing with them? I, I actually can't remember what I'm supposed to do with a fucking red skull at this point. Um. Oh, I'm glad you're having. Oh, well, thank you, Norman. Ben. Hope you are having a good Saturday as well. Oh boy, open some nice windows. Oh boy. You're not. Plus enemies to go, not counting lost souls. Apparently left in the level. So we're getting close. I'm going to have a map after this to play as well. Oh, perfect. Four. Four for. Yes. Um, ah, I see. Oh, I see. It's time to fuck up an easy jump. So I can extend this level by another minute. Yep, I knew that. Oh no, it was actually time to go back here and find some armor. Ha ha ha. Making the level easier to beat for the finale push. It was all intentional. A subconscious part of my brain realized, oh look, and there's a backpack. Oh, there's some armor. Okay, I missed the armor. 
It was all an intentional side bet check, so I wouldn't miss out on some goodies. All planned. All planned. Even though this is blind, and I have no idea what the level has, but it's all planned, you see. Ohio was on lockdown again. Oh, okay. Well, I whatever. I won't need that until I will need it. Oh shit! I just realized I'm not getting off this platform ever. At least I don't think I am. Oh god, what are we unleash now? Cacos. Well, there's no way they can be ignored. Because they'll just be behind me, otherwise. Okay, maybe that many we can ignore. Yeah, well, we've been in lockdown for... Uh, let's see... Walk down here in the northwest of England. Um, nine fucking months. Not even kidding. We have been in lockdown for nine, practically since March, essentially. Yeah, we didn't get we didn't get the tier three. We're, we're still in tier three. Well, we're, we're going to be stuck in tier three forever. So we're just waiting for a vaccine until we can do normal shit. Well, did a thing. Did a thing. But yeah, I mean, the lockdown isn't fun if you're used to having a lot more freedom. It's definitely a uh, take some adjustments. Ow. Okay, um... I hear a stompy stomp. I hear the cyber demon somewhere. Ah, the other side of this is now open. Cool. Mm. Nice. Ah, excellent. We are near the end. Awesome boy. You can go and just pop back up Friday and have a drink as long as you have food with it. Yeah, as long as you have a scotch egg, you're good. You have all the alcohol you want. Hmm. Oh no, this is bad. This is very, very bad. Okay, no it's not. Okay, we should be okay. Should be okay. The cyber demon is not in a bad position and that <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Get him. Get him. No dumb mistakes now, please. No dumb mistakes now, please. Killed it. Gacko, get out the bloody way. No, Gacko, you're not killing me. Alright, we're not having that. Oh, jeez. Stop. You know what, Gacko? Get him. Get him. Yes! Victory! Oh, 
Well, the idea is to choose some food that's cheap so you can just get away with ordering 12 pints out of four. But I don't really care about going to the pubs. I mean, I would have cared if I, when I was unemployed. You know, I something to do on the old night when there was a thing called football on. But I have a job, so really the only nights I can go out drinking, since poker isn't back yet, it would be Friday nights and Saturday nights. Friday nights I play games with friends, and Saturday nights... It's an arch file! Which was completely useless. Oh, hey, we're back at the beginning? Are we supposed to be right back here? Guess so. Uh, Sign. But I think we are supposed to be. Oh, yeah, of course. We're back into this area now, aren't we? Where we started. Oh, well. Um, alright. Exit. We did it! Yes! I beat it! In 503! Excellent! Well, whatever. Okay, go away. We did it! I survived! In 50 minutes and 13 seconds! And then this is map two. Done. But it's not over yet. That was just the first map. Now, we need to load the next one, which is drip feed. Also, hey, Mecha Girl, how you doing? Now, I'm not really a hooligan, Dave. I just, the only reason I used to ever go out was, you know, watch a football match or play poker. Sometimes both in combination back when it was a thing. But as I said, there's no reason for me to go out because Friday nights I chill with um, Draken and friends and Saturday nights I stream, so. It's all good. The only thing I care about is that the gyms are now back, and that's, and hopefully that fucking stays the same, even if a lockdown occurs. I'd like to think during the third lockdown next month, which will probably have to happen, that the government keeps the fucking gyms open this time. That would be nice. Ugh. Ugh. My ass is getting a bit stiff. I don't set hold we drunk and start a fight, Dave. I'm not that kind of individual. You swear way too much during a football match to be able to go out for that. Why, I te to be fair, I, I tend to watch, I don't tend to watch my own team play. Because I'm not on TV very often and that's fine by me. It's mostly watching all the other teams. But anyway, I digress. Anyway, this is Drip Feed, which is another map by the same dude. Um, this came out in... There's actually someone this one came out. Oh, well, it came out whenever. Right, so this is Drip Feed. We have to go to map 30 for it, so this is also blind. By the And you would sort the whole country of Spain for 90 minutes. Ah, oh, jeez. Spells exist. Uh oh, this is really bad. No, 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 this is really bad. I'm getting, I was hoping for some infighting to occur or not to get on a platform with a million things around me. This is really bad. I'm trying to get to a safe spot and there isn't one appearing anywhere. Oh, 
voice is really not good at all. Okay, getting better. Oh god, why is the... Why is it just pingies? I can reasonably deal with pingy swarms. It's not an unreasonable thing to deal with. I just need someone to deal with that rev. Sorry, no one says dirty edgy. To be fair, Spain is easy to make fun of. Oh crap. No, 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 don't get cornered. That would be really bad. Nice, I got the hit scanner. It's all the map. Oh good, most of the pinkies are distracted. Okay, I might have a chance. Stop. Ah! Fucking Rev is still alive and still in my goddamn face. Can you please hit a caco so you can start? Oh crap, and now I'm being forced over here. Oh wait, I don't think it can hit me from up there. I hope not. Oh, you might be able to though. Not anymore. Bear in mind, this is also a CAC award winner. So I guess we should expect a very similar level of high quality. I guess. Is that a Duke Nukem mini I hear? You know, the one that everyone uses? I don't know if I want to go that way, or go back the other way, or just want to buy desperately look for some kind of ammo, or something. Okay, there's nothing. Oh, hang on, there's this. Ah! No! Why is the fucking hell knight up here? Oh, thank God, he, can't, he didn't come in and he dies. Okay, that worked out better than I expected. We might be able to get to a reasonable state of recovery at this point. The, the imp fireballs look to be slightly modified. Visually, that is. Am I right in thinking that? It looks like the imp fireballs are very slightly modified. Cool way to start a level though. Go along a panicky tube of the top of a wall and then you have to jump off at your first opportunity. That's some good, cool player leading there for your map. <clears throat> no, 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 Oh, jeez, that was close. Yes, come on. Yes! Get him, Baron. Fuck him up. Why attempt an SR 40 or something? Yeah, the bigger and slightly slower to boot. Okay, I guess we can't do that. Totally. Gonna have to ignore the um mindfulness for now. Perhaps a smart decision, Deep Up. Feel like insulting the entire country for like 90 minutes while you're watching a football match. Dick. Oh, I'm just gonna be a shotgun and just use a random max damage shot on you. Fucking hell. Well, anyway, 
Yeah, Sergio Ramos is just a fucking cheat. Unfortunately, he's also an idiot who gets exposed for his weird style of play too often. Then more than not. He's been sent off a lot of times, so it kind of does keep catching up with him every so often. If you continue to ignore these monkey by, they will eventually shove things into your back. Well, I don't have the ammo to really deal with them yet. I might do in a moment, perhaps. Oh god, there's a fucking chain gunner. That's what I don't want to see. Oh uh, no, why? 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 Why is it going out of range? I am in the perfect spot and it just disappears. No, you fucking pinkies. Get out the bloody way. There we go. Nailed that bastard at last. Ugh. Oh, I hate it when you have to. when there's a fucking chain gun. Ah, uh, it's before you really. I need to kill him sooner rather than later. Please die. Thank you. There we go. Alright! Now it won't happen, then he's in, I am... Um... Have fun eating it, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like the imp fireball is slightly slower and for some reason has a weird effect on it. Additionally. At least you were in a friendly pub, though, D-Pub. The worst thing I've ever had to be witness to in terms of football aggression after a football match was a few years ago during a Champions League um, second leg game at the Nuke Camp. To which I can thank my asshole of a dad for that. To be honest with you, I'm only grateful it was in Barcelona, not Madrid, that this happened. But... A few years ago, I went to the new camp, which is a really good stadium, but a really shitty exterior. Inter yeah. Exterior it looks like a bloody car park from the outside, and it's got some weird drops and some weird things in general. But um, anyway, they were playing Man City, and they need City needs some goals. They didn't win the game. And then on the way back home from this match, keep. I mean, we did get back to the. I mean, on the way back home from this game that City had just lost with my dad, who supports City, obviously. Um, my my dad decided a wise decision at the time would be to um, 
not walk with the other city fans, but to instead go and walk on a public local tram. I think it was a, I think they had a, there was a tram or a bus service in Barcelona they have. Um, yeah, he decided to go and walk in the middle of, you know, the local... Basically, he went the same way the home fans went. It doesn't sound too bad, right? But he was still pissed off at the game. And I fucking missed that. Um, not going to games with my dad. I mean, Mr. Medkit. Um, so, he's there, and he's pissed off. And for the entire time, and keep in mind, we are surrounded by hordes of hordes of... Barcelona fans, lots of them, all over the place. No City fans anywhere in sight. My dad is now swearing and calling Barcelona a bunch of corrupt frauds. You know, he's basically he's taking the piss out of them. He's not very happy. You know. So keep this in mind. He, here I am with someone who is going on and on about how bad Barcelona are. He's in the middle of a fucking subway, surrounded by nothing but Barcelona fans. And this went on for about 20 minutes. I am somehow not dead. Or brutally beaten up for this. I think it might be because either the Barcelona fans didn't understand what was going on, or didn't care. Maybe they have a good reputation for not doing that kind of shit. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I, I, it's not that I don't blame for cussing it out. It's just like, could you not wait to get away from the throng of Barca fans who have just won a game or something? You know, wait. I don't fancy dying in Barcelona of all places. Luckily, nothing happened, and they just ignored us for some reason. To this day, I don't know how it, that managed to occur. Right, there wasn't even a response. They just ignored us completely. I mean, my dad was again a city top. It wasn't like it was... You know, I guess Barca fans just have a good reputation, I guess. Maybe they just were like, yeah, whatever. You, you lost. We don't care. Yeah. <laughs> There's a badge for cheering one bit to the stream. You know. If you manage to... I will attempt to chainsaw kill. Oh good. Not screwed over this time. Yeah, but still, you know... I can understand why like, if it had been a one-off thing and it maybe show, but he wouldn't want this for ages. It's like he kept going on about it. And it's like, yes, Dad, we're in the middle of a fucking station full of Barcelona fans. Maybe we should do this when we're safe. We're back in the not in the throng of a million of them. You know? <laughs> can we save this for later, please? I'm always keeping my noise down, saying nothing, because, you know... I know what my dad was like back then in terms of football matches. I know there was no point. <clears throat> There's a super shotgun here somewhere, isn't there? Which I might need to accumulate. Fucking chain gonna know. Oh, this is. Oh, good. I found the one corner. Oh, that was so lucky. One that the revenant got in fighting, and two that I found the corner where I couldn't be flanked on the right. That was like really. Oh. Hey, Dad. I'd rather not be dead. <laughs> I want to go home after this and not be at the new camp again. Yeah, those were the days. Can't say, can't deny I didn't go on some interesting trips with my dad back when he was... 
you know, back when I didn't know any better, but... I still would rather have spent those years developing myself as a person instead. But hey, oh. Can't take it back now. For fuck's sake, man. I missed twice for getting it. I need, I need some. I need that a berserk kit from that previous map now. I'm not in a good shape, Chief. All right, that that works too, I guess. I remember that because I, I picked up a um, one of the Barcelona flags. They had like a flag. All the Barca fans had flags, and they dropped a few on the ground, and I picked one up. I kept that for a couple of years, but I eventually threw it away. Anyway, the bottom line is I'm very grateful it happened in Barcelona, not Madrid. I guarantee if that happened in Real Madrid with their reputation, I probably would have come out of that with some kind of a brutal beating or something. I probably would be telling you about the story, but hey, remember the story when my dad decided to fucking mock Real Madrid after he lost her? Oh, good times. We also, we also did a similar thing when we played Bayern a few years ago. I got to see the Allianz uh, Arena. So, ha, Depop, I have seen your uh, football club's ground. It's a very weird, red, glowy stadium, and then and every time you score, you chant the name of the player several times that scored. It's very strange. Also, I liked Munich. It was a good city. Yeah, it was similar in Bayern as well when City also lost, but that was a group stage game, and it was the one where Boateng, Jerome Boateng scored. Anyway, we walked home with the Bayern fans, and the Bayern fans were a lot more reasonable. They were fine. They were no problems. Also, my dad wasn't as grumpy, but the Bayern fans were generally very accommodating. I mean, there was only, like, what, one way into the stadium anyway? You had to go on a train or bus or something because it's so far away from the city. So you had to, like, go outside the city for a few clicks to even get to this thing. So you had to travel with a lot of Bayern fans anyway, whether you liked it or not. I'm sorry if people take their sports teams that seriously that they beat up people who can't help with their parent marks them, then they don't need to be leaving the house. Yeah, there was one Bayern guy who had like a lot of medals as well, some old guy. Generally, generally I just felt that Munich was a very chill city. Like, I liked that place. It's like old Bavarian style. It was great. I love Munich. That was a really good time. I love the, what do they call it? The, uh, the Hofbruff house. Wasn't all bad being with my dad bad then. I got to see a few cool places. But that was about the only positive that ever comes from being with my deadbeat dad, is that I got to travel the world a few places. I got to see uh, Turin, Bayern, Barcelona. Few trips doesn't make up for a lifetime of fucking wankery, bro. Failed a Ratnatron ambush, but I really like that. <laughs> How evil we placed that was. Generally, rioting in general is just bad, but. That's sort of an American thing, though. I don't think in the UK we have riots over losing matches too much. You get very passionate about your four sports brands in the US. You know. Well, you know, tribalism is the very nature of supporting a team. You know. It's always fun when you... Win and sucks when you lose. I 
seem to have seem to have wandered my way into progression here. Well, we have clubs that get relegated and their own fans block them from leaving the stadium. Yeah, it's a reasonable approach. Misfit, you know, tribalism is unhealthy, really. Why do I? Oh, whatever. I thought I saw a flickering. Ooh. Am I supposed to be down here? Oh! Oh no, I don't think I'm supposed to, I'm to do that. Um, well, that's quite a bit of the map left to go, exploration wise at least. I've known folks that only went to Magic Wizard of the Riots after the game. After the game? It's a bit like that song by The Offspring. If I had a perfect day, I would have it start the way. Open up the fridge and have a toll boy, yeah. When we go to the game, something, 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 we don't even really care who wins. And it's about a baseball riot or something. Um. All right, this is just to pick up an auto map. Okay, cool. Again, the high quality of this map really shows. You can tell this mapper knows what they're doing. You know? Really good quality stuff and the detailing and... Everything, really. And this is... I don't even know what year this is, but this is the same... I can see why this guy got a BTS Batasanic slot. Maybe one day we'll get to see the third. Oh, okay, no, I need to stop doing that because I do this every time. Anyway, it's episode three, and, it never, and then it gets delayed another week. Because I, because I said that. Because someone asked for it, it gets delayed again. Well, they would have released it, but someone asked for it again, so time for another week under the way. I'd like, to, I'd like to visit a few more football stadiums, though, before I pass. I want to go to Dortmund and see the Yellow Wall. Because that looks like a really cool place to go to. Uh... Actually, I think that's the only ground I really want to see that's left now. Oh, well, maybe the San Siro. Not been to that yet. Of the really popular ones, anyway. Oh, fucking hell, I seem to have completely lost my sense of wherever I'm going here. You think if no one is <laughs> what, the opposite, so we, we, stop, we stop caring about it altogether. Well, you know what, to be quite honest, considering how many high-quality map sets come out every week, Back to Saturday next episode 3 is going to have a hard feat. You know, it will stand out because of its reputation of the people on it alone. Even if they had to change their map names for the commercial release, which I only recently learned was a thing. They had to change their map names on the um, Bethesda Source version because their songs were named after albums or something. E3 is still a long way from being done. I didn't need to fall off there. Yeah, so we keep, so I, so I believe. I 
I'm gonna have to be honest though, in terms of the progression of this map, I swear it feels like I'm just exhausting options until I just happen to coincidentally find the correct area. I don't know if I'm being led well or whatever, but it doesn't seem to be at the point where I'm massively frustrated at like, where do I fuck do I go itis? It just seems to be like, I get lost for a minute or two and then I'll suddenly find where to go, kind of thing. I have a blue skull now, and now I just need to figure out what the bloody hell was I last ever saw a blue door. The new Tottenham Stadium. Eh. Just seems like another generic commercial stadium to me. You know. I won't, I won't be that interested in going to the new White Art Wayne to be honest. Yeah, pretty much. I, I, I really do feel a bit lost. Oh, it's kind of cool that the torch actually has a sort of thing in the map where it makes some... What am I... 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 What am, what am I... Oh, there we go. That seems to be what's happening. Oh, where do I go? Oh, and I'll just wander off and here's the blue door. Now convenient! Boy, I'm so lucky to find my way where I'm going. Is that a monster block wine? No, it is not a monster block wine. What the hell is keeping him from going around this... Wait. What? He can't go around the corner. Eh? What's happening here? Huh. Oh. They didn't seem to go around the corner here, but they were able... Uh, maybe a, a trailing... Okay, Mr. Bad, let's do a little experiment, shall we? Even though I'm an Iron Eagle attempt. Can you go through here? No? Can you go through here? Yes. There's a monster block line that has been left hanging for some reason. Ha ha ha! I found a bug! There's a monster block line here, because I'm not blocked. The poor monster is blocked. Well, there we go. So I, you, you stick half a monster block line in an area where you can get to, to create a sort of... Oh wait, I'm back here? That is a... Oh, it's like a shortcut? Of sorts. Alright, whatever. Oh, wait a minute. I found a secret! I only noticed that because I saw it on the... the map. I'm not actually... Sh that's a... Really interesting little secret, but I'm not actually sure what that did. BFG? 
Where? I didn't, I didn't see anything happen. I pressed the switch and I, I don't know what that triggered. But I could all... Did that trigger something nearby? Look at it, another time switch into a time switch. No, whatever it is, it's uh, it's it's permanent. BFG. Oh, oh right. Okay. Can I go down and get that? Oh. Maybe we'll have to try it out way to when I when I probably end up back there at some point. In the next ten minutes, which will probably be a thing because. I seem to be bumming around everywhere else. But uh, that would be so strange, though. Like, you have areas with intentional semi-monster block lines like that to force monsters to... I mean, I guess it could work, but it does look a bit janky, doesn't it? You know, half a monster block line. It's great if you don't notice it, but players are going to notice them sometimes. But perhaps it could be used, you know, like a, a more subtle... Not like just, here's a monster block line because fuck it, I don't want you to leave this room, but like half of one. Could be the intent, but we'll guess we'll never know. Yeah, given the fact it didn't really seem to change all that much, I would be leaning more towards it being a bug that just got missed. Monster block lines have to make sense, usually. There's no point in having them not make sense. I mean, you can have them be nonsensical, but it just looks a bit weird. You know, when you have monster block lines and it's just like, why is this, a, why is this happening? This is where the this is near where the BFG was revealed, wasn't it? That thanks, fucker. Yeah, yeah, the BFG is which we just on the other side of this thing, but I don't think we can get it from here. No, I don't, not that I know of anyway. What the fucking hell? Oh god, I didn't realize it was right there. I thought he was on a ledge. That's why I backed out. I need to back out. I need, I need to back out more. We well, wasn't safe enough. No, fuck off, chain gunner. Ooh, baby. The BFG is mine. Yeah, 94 health, right? I was doing better before. This makes sense otherwise, yeah. Is there not a chain gunner somewhere around here? There he is. No, a fucking. Ugh. 
Oh, there's another one. Oh, there he is. You dick. Rocket birds kind of worked out okay. Oh, I think. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Man, all these nice little complicated sort of things and layouts. scenarios and just everything really this map has whoa Eve eternity syndrome singular hits come enemies in strange places Considering how last month's Iron Man attempts went, I'm kind of glad this one is um, going the distance, shall we say. Considering they were very brief last time, you know. Though it, is, it always just feels a bit at dull when the Iron Man's end early. Like, if I'm going to die, at least could it be something a little dramatic or at least midway through. So, like, the first few minutes or something. That's why I like this format. It's always a new, it's different kind of tension to be playing the maps without the ability to press F5. Wow. Only time will tell. Do my engines turn to pretty much a hyperlax FDC minus the FD part? Yeah, I mean, for Vanilla Doom, it's uh, it's fine way to start. But it'd be curious to see how it plays out in a um, a more difficult map set later on. I mean, I'll give it a couple of months if they are going to go through it to see how it goes. It could be interesting because at least it means like if I die, I can keep going. <laughs> You know, essentially it turns them into sort of playthroughs, but with a speedrun element to it. So it wouldn't be like, if I play something blind and I die in 10 minutes, it's over. It's like, I can choose to keep going, and at any point I feel I don't want to, I can just stop. I guess there is that element to it. I have an option as to when I want to, how far I want to... Oh, fuck you. 
Double fuck you. Oh, jeez, why are you turning into a res? Res is everything. Wow, how do you do that? Press switch. Thing will... Oh, it's gonna be some boom trickery, isn't it? I guess. Voodoo. Hey, Funzooka. Anyway, Soul Spear. Our chances of survival go up a bit. So, I guess to you, that's the only thing I can think about that kind of makes the Endurance Tournament a bit more fun, I guess, is the fact that it has the um, you can die and keep going kind of thing, but you're just not going to see as many points as compared to someone who survives. Though, to be honest, if there isn't that threat hanging over a standard playthrough, then it... It's, it's just a standard playthrough, isn't it? I don't know. I, mean, I think it might take a few months of getting used to, of, get, of sort of feeling it in to see if I actually want to continue with it. I mean, if I do, then congratulations, extra content for the channel. I can do that every month alongside the Iron Man and Iron Eagle. You know, that's an extra days of stuff. Um... Yeah, if you want to play some good, uh... Oh god, I shouldn't have fallen off there, should I? I don't think. Right, hang on. Red school, red school, red school. Fuck me, I don't know what a red school is now. Yeah, Hellevator. People wanted some play testers for that last time. Oh, look, and once again, I suddenly bumble into the correct spot. It's mysterious how this is working out for me. Oh, hey, now we have a plasma gun. Even better. No, it's not. Back to Saturn X is a series of maps that are designed for vanilla. It has a couple of hard ones in each edition, and there's a super secret and there's a secret map on the second one that is. Oh my god, I can't even hit those fucking revenants because of the some whatever. We'll just weave them for now. I'm sure we'll get a better angle at them later. Should we need to actually deal with them? I can bloody help we do. Hmm. Coming in at the 44 minute mark. Looks like this is gonna take an hour. It's been a it's been a fun little map though. It's not dragged or anything. It's been a very uh, worthwhile hour if I do get to the end of it. But yeah, back to Saturn X episodes one and two. Absolutely recommended to play from Zerka. It's the pinnacle of, well, it's not the pinnacle, but it's a very high standard of vanilla stuff. You know? Oh no, I shouldn't have picked that up. That was such a waste of bullets. Oh, what the hell? Oh, this got... Oh, 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 God. No, I don't like this at all. I really don't like this. Get me out of this little crossfire. Get me out now. Nope.
This only somewhat explored into life. Yeah, there are some harder maps in BTSX, but later on, but for the most part, it's a reasonable challenge and it's fun stuff, you know. You can also, if also, if you want to play um, TVR, that's a good map set. One you can beat in one sitting. Well, most of the levels are short. Thomas Van der Velden's Revolution or TVR from Zerka. That's another good recommendation. It's a map set that could be beaten in four or five hours and it's fun. Fun little levels. Not too challenging. Really good stuff. One of my favorite ones. to go up higher, I see. Can you repeat the name of the ward? What, the one I just mentioned, Zero Car? Uh, TVR. It's, it's known as for short. Or Thomas Van Der Velden's Revolution. It'll have an exclamation mark after it. It's also called just Revolution sometimes, but it's essentially Thomas Van Der Velden's Revolution. Yeah. You, the maps are short, not usually that difficult, except maybe one or two, but even it's reasonable, and can be beaten in three or four hours. That's why I call a one playthrough megawatt, which is the kind of thing that occasionally really hits the spot. Short levels, fast pace, varied stuff, nothing too fancy, nothing too lengthy, just a nice burst of constant thrills. Petition's Gate is also similar, but Petition's Gate can be a bit brutal at times. Still a one map megawatt though. You don't really see those often. I don't think I've seen many things like that. Like nowadays, if you don't want to make something shorter, you just don't make 32 maps, right? And thankfully, more mappers are getting used to the idea that they don't need to do 32 map megawards when they begin their mapping careers. Thank God that's more of a thing that we're seeing less of. The 32 map megawatt ambitious startups. That's always good. Are we at the end? Really? Oh wow, and I like how the ending is like suddenly ultra grey tech base. Even more impressive, there wasn't an icon of sin on this map! Hooray! Also, holy shit, I survived an Iron Eagle. Yes! I'm just noting down the time. Wow. Survived both. I have no idea. Who knows? If I did it, fuck yeah. Give myself a nice pat on the back for that one, if I could. Uh, that was about the best effort I could muster, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I don't know. Um... I'm just looking through the text file. It doesn't say anything why it's just on map 30. <sighs> I, don't, I don't know, it just isn't. Well, there we are. That was, those maps were pretty good. What do you all think of those two maps? I thought they were pretty good. I could see why they were CAC award winners. You know, really nice design, really complex sort of stuff and although I'd, I'd somehow managing to pull off the feat of being both a map you can sort of get lost in but then also a map that you can I somehow progress through by bumbling around a bit I guess a bit samey but 
It, the maps were 50, 50, um, 50 minutes and 49 minutes long, and neither of them felt like they dragged on. That's always a good accomplishment on itself, even if a map as uh, highly technically polished as those were, it's very easy for a map to start to feel like it's overstayed its welcome, though neither of those did. How much time have I wasted on Doom 1? What, in the stream? Um, I beat the standard challenge in under two hours. I attempted the advanced, the challenge challenge of the tournament. I died on E4M6, not to a cyber demon, but to, to having low health and not or some, I don't know, something else, an imp, I think. And I, and I just started doing the Iron Eagle instead because the Iron Man League wasn't released. So, therefore, the Iron Eagle is done. And I survived it, so yay. The Iron Man League will have to be played another day. Maybe tomorrow if it comes out. We'll see. So, uh, it was actually fun doing the uh, thingy tournament as well, to be honest. In terms of speed running through Doom 1 a bit, that was kind of fun. I hope they pick some good wads. I think if the tournament is going to have an impact, it needs to pick some really good picks each month. And then I could see it having some potential, actually. Especially if the Iron Man League is going to stop existing or is going to, like, stop being consistent in release dates or something. You know, maybe people want a more laid-back Iron Man tournament thing, and maybe this is it. You know, one where you don't have to survive in one sitting. Maybe. Only time will tell. But I do hope that the Iron Man Wii comes out this month at some point. So... Yeah, fun stuff tonight. I think it's been a good stream, you know, entertaining stuff. I think it's been good. And with that, I bring this stream to a close. Oh no, Lord Misfit's got something to say, I think. I don't know what the timer is on the buddy. Oh, I can't be bothered, they can just figure it out or whatever. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll I'll try to give a rough time estimate for the ma the maps. I'll have to do some quick calculations or something to submit a time, which is going to be um, fun or whatever. I found where I just went for my moment. The Browns are eight and three. Well, there you go. Playoffs are in their sights. You know, if they win, I think it's why they have to win one or two more games. I guess. You usually get double digits, you're in a playoff. I think that's how it works. I wish there were more FDCs. What, first demo contests? Um, yeah. Oh yeah, Pittsburgh are like 11-0. They haven't lost the game yet. Right, so, uh, that will be it for tonight's stream. I hope you've all enjoyed these four hours, like I have. Um, tomorrow night, it's back to the mapping. Unless the Iron Man League releases. If the Iron Man League comes out by tomorrow evening, I will play that first. So that at least then it's out of the way, if nothing else. If it doesn't, then it will be a mapping stream. And if I do the Iron Man League and it's short, then I'll do a mapping stream afterwards. So basically, it's going to be mapping for a bit. So hopefully I'll get that room on the other side of the box warehouse done tomorrow night. That would be good. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow for either mapping or, fingers crossed, Nasa gets the Iron Man League out. Good night, everyone.